Hello, hello YouTube, it is Sukhsta here with another Super Limp video. This time we're playing the first game and we're going to do it in the same way I have done with Crash and also 6 inches under, which means we're doing a 100% playthrough with also showing off, showing off all achievements. In this case we're going to show off the achievements that are easily missable, or easily missed rather. Uh, I'm not going to show off the ones that are that you gain from just playing the story. You will just simply get those if you beat the game. What I will do is mention and show the ones that are missed even if you do 100%. And there are a few of those that you don't have to do for anything. They don't give you any percentage in the game. So I will make sure to mention them as we do them or we are close to them. In the description you will also notice there will be a link to an interactive map. This map will have the location of every single item. Every single item, yeah. So all chests, all coins, all of it. You can use that to find what you might be missing for. I think it's worth using. That is being made by some, uh, some players in the official Superland Discord. They do deserve the shout out for that. I don't remember exactly who is doing what in all of them, so... Instead of mentioning anyone, I don't want to miss out on mentioning someone, so but they are doing a good job. I've also done the map for the, the interactive map for 6 inches under, and we'll most likely be working on a map for Crash at one point. First thing we're going to do here, not the first thing, but we're going to jump up on this pipe, go and grab a chest. I'm sure the tutorial will be explaining the basics of the game, so I don't, I'm not going to do that. But what I'm going to explain is that I'm standing on some chests, and this one I stood on that on top of that chest as I opened it. That allows me to grab all the coins in it instantly. Instead of having to watch the coins fly around the room and having me chase them. And here we see the first story bit why we are not getting water in our red town anymore. You're gonna notice that I will be picking up some coins in a very specific order here. It's just so I don't have to backtrack. I'll grab this and buy this. Uh, skipped some coins there. And then enter this room. Jump into the window. Crouch and destroy with those things there. Alright. So here comes the first missable achievement, I believe. Just to make this drink. I might be wrong about it being missable. It might be a percentage in the game. I'm not sure. But we need to make a drink with water and green leaves. Water is gained from this spot by dipping it into water and placing it on top of there. Then we hit this tree because it's green with leaves. You just press this button and this machine will press it for you. Press it, use, crush it, use, whatever. And there we get an upgrade. Now we've got a bunch of extra health to start with. Here we are going to grab a barrel. These barrels will be given to the shopkeepers in the area that you find a barrel. I'm going to give it to him very, very soon. I'm going to do something else real quick. Uh, giving the barrels to the shopkeeper will allow you to buy another upgrade. So you will want to give it to them as quickly as you can. Or when you find them. Now, you see this white pipe is a coloring machine. And this one has the default color white to it. You can change them. I'll explain that in a little bit when we get to the other part of the coloring machine so that you can see what's going on. But you can color many things into many different colors. And here we have another achievement that is not part of any story. Click this key or button nine times. That will give you the achievement called nine. Oh, I'm not gonna click anymore. You will spam that until it opens or until you triggers. This is a three second door or timer, so you want to have the movement speed uh, upgrade from uh, the shop. Be able to do that. I'm gonna pick up this again, and now you see I will turn that in there, and that an upgrade appeared. I'm gonna buy max coins too, or times two. That way we have 60 max capacity of coins, and then we're gonna go and grab our next barrel. I'm going to make sure that I have 20 coins before I come back to turn in the next barrel. So I'm gonna grab these four over here. And then grab six all over up here next to this barrel. 
I'm gonna destroy these blanks here real quick. Upgrade this baron here, we'll be able to go out when we do the puzzle. Oops. And then we pick it up and give it to the shopkeeper. There are quite a few barrels in the game, but they do give you pretty good upgrades, so make sure that you find them, especially early. You need to find some of them in order to be able to progress the game. So we get the main tools. The force cube is what we just got from that barrel and bought it, and now we can place it under us to be able to get pushed up and reach just slightly higher rooms or ledges. It also functions as a light source. If you just simply hold it down like this, you can place it, it will still be a light source. You'll notice there are quite a few enemies around. I would like to say that it's not really worth fighting them at this point. Not only is your damage only two, so you would have to hit them eight times to kill them. They also don't give anything at this moment. So I would say try and fight them only if you really, really need to. Like they are all over you. Now we've got loot, we can actually kill them and gain something back. So it's not that bad if you do fight them. But again, it's still quite slow. I'm gonna go up this twig again and turn to the right. You can unlock the door to the next area. As we unlock it, we're gonna move back again instead of jumping down. So we're gonna just trigger this thing here, open up the door, and go for this chest behind us. That is so we can start working on our damage. Now they are kinda close and in the way here, so I'm just gonna kill them. I'm gonna try and have about 60. I want to be at max, to be honest, coins when I come back to town. It just makes it feel a little bit better. Let me see what happens. Another sword upgrade, so we now have 4 damage rather than 2, which is pretty sweet, but we want a lot more. You notice that most puzzles in these games are colored, which means that just about everything you see in terms of a puzzle will tell you hey, this color would function pretty good together with what we're trying to do. Alright. And we can see the health as well. Uh, your mother, your the queen, would mention this red source, light source up there. We can't do anything about that at the moment, so we just activate that launch pad and go all the way back to town. As you can see, there is a ton of enemies. I would say there's too many to not kill them. Sadly, none of them gives us anything because we have full coins. We're gonna grab a barrel before we go back into town. Put your force cube down and then the barrel. That means that the barrel will not be rolling into the lava. You can grab the barrel and just move that cube out of the way. This barrel here will give us a double jump. Or, I don't remember, remember how much? 24? Uh, oh, 36 even. Let's buy that and... Um, oh, I have 24 left. Makes sense. Now we're gonna go towards the triple jump, which is not too far away. You can heal if you eat the fruit that are placed on a cactus. So you can just click it if you want, or if you go get close enough, and you will auto-eat it. Before we jump up here, we're gonna do this little door here. Open it. Place a cube under it. That way it's blocked and can't close completely, then you can crouch under it. With our double jump, we can now cross this gap here. Gonna cross this gap there later, we're just gonna go grab this chest over here. To help off these launch pads. Get even more damage, I believe. Plus two. Yeah. These, you notice there might be two different colors of uh, launch pads. Oh. I messed up pretty badly. That's all right. We just go back up on this. So the blue ones let you move around mid-air, as well as jump, or double jump, or even triple jump. Red ones doesn't let you move, but both of them will also let you use weapons during them and tools, which will be handy later. Also going to be part of a puzzle solution at one point. 
We're gonna place a cube in the middle of this just so that this barrel will be able to roll all the way over to the other side and hit the button that it's gonna land on. That will trigger this and let us jump back over. Grab the barrel and go back to the shopkeeper and buy your next upgrade. Alright, now that we have a bunch of extra stuff, we are going to do a few jumps here. No, not only a few jumps, we are going to do a few other things in town. Just before we leave for the big adventure. One thing is going to be here. I think this upgrade here is quite nice to have. Because it's going to give us increased range of our melee attack. The next thing we're going to do is open this. And we have a chest in here with some extra coins in it. Do we need this? I'm gonna jump up here with the help of a cube and place a cube on top of that wooden part and triple to jump our way up. And we're getting some more health, which will only to be a little bit useful. We'll jump back up here. Here is the other side of the coloring machine that I mentioned. Uh, so obviously you have the end where it pours out colors, and this end is where you choose the color. In order to choose color, you need to put something in it, an item that you find, or even some of your own tools. In this case, we put the force cube in it to make it purple. That will allow us to use uh, this crystal here. You can paint this purple, just like that. And we're gonna do something that the game teaches you very, very not much later, like one and a half hour into this video, most likely. And that is that the purple bright light attracts these flies and the flies do enjoy to eat orange food and we're gonna take advantage of that and make them eat these carrots i do this this early because this chest gives us plus three damage that is quite a lot at this point um i do need more coins that's good enough we are now gonna place at the cube on top of this to make these mechanisms swing and that will pull down our barrel while i wait for that barrel i'm going to go and grab another chest and i'm going to abuse the fact that these hitboxes in the game of the <clears throat> environment is really really nice so we can just spam jump our way up here that way we get this secret chest up here that means we have unlocked no that's the second crit chance yeah so we have 10 percent chance to crit this barrel has now rolling down been yeah, fallen down, and we can turn that in. Now we have 20 coins. I can buy those three upgrades. We can't buy the last one there. It's too much. Cannot even get that many coins at the moment. Just gonna use this launch pad to get all the way over here again. So, at this point, um, what I'm doing is I'm going to collect all the coins that we have here. As well as some extra um, chests. Let's get up. Triple jump over here and then triple jump to the other side. Well, two is enough. At the third coin, I'm going to stop, place my cube and jump up. So we can get another loot upgrade. This one is hard luck, so we have higher chance of getting health back after killing enemies. Before we jump all the way down, we're gonna go and look here, and we're gonna see this candle. And to the left of it is a chest, we're gonna triple jump over. Just to get this one chest. Then we can jump down here, and kill this guy. There's nothing wrong with killing him, it doesn't really take any time to do. At this point we have enough damage to just hit them, kill him in two hits. As I work my way around to get in up top of the Lego brick wall here, we can grab all these coins. And now we proceed with the main path of the story. You can click this button to activate this launch pad in case you fall down, which I nearly did. For this jump, you need to have two times speed, double jump and triple jump. So you just have all those and you move forward and triple jump. And then we make sure we don't fall down. 
For this part here, you need the force cube. The force cube has a lot more weight than you did. Something like four times more. So that will help you get up. Are you noticing we are still getting we're getting kind of close to max capacity of coins but we are lucky enough to have the NPC just there to say hey you will need us now we can carry 120 instead of 60. I'm gonna jump down right away and you will notice a button a, a tiny tiny gap and all through those tiny gaps you can place your cube on the other end of it that allows us to grab this armor now we're gonna start looking for these shells because I need Six of them in total. We grab the one shell and continue going the intended way up so we can start climbing this red tower. And that's unlock that little shortcut in case you fall down. We are gonna take a small detour here, just go and grab a chest. Click the button. That will unlock a launch pad that will help you get up if you fall down as well. Just to save you some time in case you're struggling. These spikes will hurt you, so you place your cube on top of it for protection. And then we can jump all the way over. We have another button over here that is also a shortcut. We are gonna use that in a little bit. But we but first we're gonna go all the way up here and grab two chests and some coins. Those are two coins and then we're gonna look to our left here and jump to this little room, building, structure. Perfect. Let me jump, fall down and use this new shortcut back up. We're gonna place our cube on this button. Then we'll move this thing up there. And then that allows us to place the cube below it. And doing so will allow us to crouch through this part. So now we're back in the crystal part, or the tower part. And you will notice another swinging mechanism here. Before we enter the room though, we're gonna take the chest on the side, or the outer side. We have another shortcut right there with that button. And now we're gonna grab another chest up here. With that cube still on the swing, it will push you up so you can jump up and grab the chest. Well, now what we're gonna do is place a cube under that pipe and then click this button to spawn a rock. That is so that the rock would fall after when we are standing on that launch pad. That way we get up further up there. Now we're gonna drop a cube down on this purple button at the bottom. And as we wait for that to fall all the way, we can grab this chest here. Put that, dropping that cube down there, unlock that door that we just went through. And now we can grab our first MacGuffin, which is the red one. This weapon can you obviously use to deal damage and also shoot buttons and more. As it mentions on the screen. Let's jump straight over to this building and drop down. Gonna eat one of these crystals to get the achievement just once. Don't forget the shell over there. Quite important. Gonna walk back on top of this building. But we're gonna continue jumping higher. We can reach this, I guess, a warehouse of some sort. We're gonna want to put the cube on the bottom ramp here, something like that. And it will lean on that metal gate or door. Let me click this button and watch the door open as the cube falls under it and stops it from closing. That way we can crouch under it and go and grab this wonderful upgrade. Now we can destroy wooden graves. So we can reduce spawn rate of enemies in the areas we are in. As well as gain 5 coins from each wooden grave. That is going to be a big part of how we make money in this game. Now I'm going to use this part here to jump up. And... All the way to this top of the ceiling, the roof. Because we want more upgrades for our max capacity of coins. So this here is a good place for that. Of 
I'm gonna jump up here and get all the way on top of this little rocky hill here. Now we're going for the third shell, which is down in a corner here. Take this left side because it's slightly faster and also gives us a few coins here. Take those three coins and turn left. And look into the corner. Way back here. There it is. We still need three more that we will find on the way to the guy that wants them. So we're gonna do a slight, slight detour and grab these coins and also destroy a few more graves. Or our first graves. So here's a wooden grave, a tiny one, destroy it, get five coins. And one behind the building. We're gonna enter this middle section here. And go and hold left because there's a hole here. And also we get a chest and a shell in here. I turn left again. Might as well kill the enemy. We're also gonna interact with this hero there on the ground. That is one of the 12 that we need to find for the achievement of shell fulfilled. Don't miss the shell next to the tree on the way out. And the final one is just up here. The guy we need to talk to is standing here next to this tree build, uh, wood building. Talk to him, give him the shells. He gives us this chest and a pipe. This triggers a fight that you don't have to do. So I'm just gonna shoot the light, the red light, oh, and move through the door. So I honestly don't wanna fight that guy. He's very tanky. You don't get much for it. So we're gonna continue to the next area here and just destroy a few more wooden graves and pick up some extra coins before we start doing the next puzzle. Enemies can obviously be quite annoying. Oh, he's dead. All right, he's gonna shoot the light over there where the cable ends that we can go up with this platform and grab our battery. This battery is going to be used to trigger the next part of this puzzle. Oh, can't grab it. I'm also going to destroy some extra wooden graves as we go. The battery goes behind this pillar. Right there, and then we're going to walk up here. We're going to jump to the right. Then I'm going to place a cube so we can jump up a little bit more. Here we have some coins that we can grab. Also another hero. That's the second one. Then we jump over to the tower and this platform on the top, place our cube on top of it, destroy the wooden grave on the bottom, and above our we place the battery, we have a red light. We can shoot that so that this platform will trigger this door to open. Another place where we do the cube through a small gap. On the other side of this, you are gonna learn that you can shoot them down and open up this other door. But in this area, I like to grab all the wooden graves at the bottom, all the, on the ground level here. There's one more up there that I can't grab yet. But I'm taking them all and taking this long way around. It's going to be one wooden grave between these two rocks. Then the next one is going to hold. We'll be hugging the wall here. I'm going to grab these three coins and drop down and get the next wooden grave just below. Then we jump over all of this. Finally we go into a hidden cave here and get a chest that is filled with 15 coins, which is very very nice. Don't worry about getting too much coins here, we should be fine. As we will enter this building on our left in just a little bit. Just gonna go and grab the final wooden grave here. Turn into the building. Then we're gonna leave this area of this, but we are gonna grab all these upgrades. We learned that you could shoot down these cubes, so we are gonna shoot them down. Maybe you need to shoot them twice. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's twice, I'm not quite sure. Then we can get this platform to reach us. Otherwise, it would have just been stopped by the cubes. And then we get used to get up for this key, which is needed in order to get to the next area. 
we open that we can place our cube here and then you see there's another purple button below it so we stamp in between these doors and we shoot our cube so that it lands on the one behind it sometimes it doesn't quite want to go down let's keep shooting it and it will manage to fall over now the game is teaching us that these wooden not the, not these platforms will be stopped if something is in front of them we're gonna place our cube in front of it and call it back that's why it will stop in the middle there it's very very good because that means we get over to the next area if we continue though just a quick quick detour to the left we grab this one lonely chest in the corner there's also a lot of coins in it and a lot it's probably 10. You might notice that on our left we now have a star and a number 44. This is what I call the fame meter. I don't actually remember the real name. But that is what I call it. This is going to be important for three things and three things only. One door is requiring 23 fame. So we can do that already but we're not going to do it. Just grab this stuff from the shop, this ring. Uh, the next thing is 80 stars. Which is also not going to be super important at this point. The most important part is the 166 requirement, which unlocks a really strong upgrade for us to do late game. So we are going to try and get that up as quickly as we can, so we can get that upgrade and get started with just clearing out zone by zone from graves. That is it. So we make this halo with this ring, just to make this guy be able to enter this church. And he will open up this door for us. As we helped him, he helped us. Now we want to get up on this white building. It's gonna walk up this rocky hill here. Jump over. Now you get another mechanic here, and there is locks and keys, or oh, key cards. We are gonna need a few different colors here. So we're gonna need a green color and a red color. This should also trigger the achievements of making a green green card and also a green key card. That's a green card. I don't know. And a red one. So first we're gonna make a red one. We do the red one here. And so to make the machine do red colors, you just shoot it. The red gun. That's all you need to do. That is one unlocked thing, and then we see another new mechanic, which is the barriers. The barriers will protect the graves completely. You can't hurt them at all. It will also protect enemies, but you can still damage them, even though they gain quite a bit quite a high armor or damage reduction. Now we're gonna make this into a green key card instead of a red. Just hit this tree that is above the the paint and recolor it. I'm gonna grab the white one first because we need the white to open up the first door and then we can use the green one. You can grab some coins on the way here. Throw it if you want with left click. I'm gonna grab some more things on the side here. So go. Now I'm gonna go grab the green key card so that we can open up the next one inside that building. Where he came from. Same. Here you can notice that we're picking up another barrel. This one is red, which means it's only able to be given to the shop in this place. Gonna be quite a few of these red barrels now, so I'm gonna have to find a lot of them. You can buy all these upgrades if you want. You can shoot down this barrel on the top of this tree thing here, the dead tree. We can buy this one as well. Now we have 17 damage, you will one hit the small uh, skeletons, which can be quite nice. Grab all these extra coins. I'm actually gonna grab this wooden grave as well.
believe we want like 85 coins when we come to the next shop. I want to try... Oh, I forgot one thing. We need to open that door. In order to open the door, we need to hit this button on the big, big tree trunk there. So we place that cube on top of the white pillar there. Then we step on this button and click the one in front of us to activate both of these things. So that it can be pushed up. Hit that button. Now I'm gonna make a small detour. I'm gonna go left in this place instead of going right. Do that we place our cube on this. And I'm doing that so I don't have to backtrack more than uh, even more times than we already need to. This is just a small small detour to save some time. To open both these doors so that we can reach this box. Open those doors and let's us triple jump over here. And also gain a lot of extra coins. This is helpful for the shop that we're gonna go to. I do believe I need 85 coins to buy all the upgrades from it. I would like to do so the first time you visit it. Now we have stomp shoes. And I'm just simply gonna leave to gain them. Stomp on this thing to open the door. He can't do now we're gonna go left right away. I'm back to where we started this detour and just now deciding to go to the correct place. What we're gonna do is gonna turn left up on this rock here. We're gonna keep these things with the barriers on them. Because we need to bounce on these graves and these bubbles like this to get over here. Let me click this one, two, and three times, and then the button next to it, and you will notice a yellow ball. We're gonna grab this, so we can solve the next puzzle, which is to shoot it through these rings above us. I am waiting for this wall to come back, so I can show you what happens if we try to bring it with us through this door. So the yellow barrier will... Do that. It destroys the super ball, which is the yellow ball. We are gonna unlock this shortcut, this lady. So we are gonna place seeds next to that sprinkler that you could see at the in the grass. You want one each flower, a lot of colored flower. On this third one, I'm gonna start the water. That way I can grab the last one and activate this as we just reach it. Oop. Let me place them down. The order you do this does not matter in one bit. Just take one of each and place it where they belong. Hopefully that's good enough. So pretty. She will then open this part. As you can see there. We're gonna walk up the hill here. Because we want this chest that's hiding up in this place. Should be able to just jump up here. Yeah. This room is very, this cave is very very dark, so you can place your, your cube down so you can see what's going on. Grab all the coins from that chest. Now I'm going to skip a the right side of this field, the uh, field part behind this field. I'm gonna go and do all of that when we come back a second time, I believe. Now I wanna buy all of these. But I didn't quite get enough coins. So we're gonna continue. I grab the super ball again the field there so we can shoot this through here. I'm gonna follow this ball even though I don't need the ball but we can grab a coin there for the tent. And then we're gonna go inside this building. Now we are stuck in a cutscene as we've been tricked into 
some sort of current prison, I suppose, even if it's a sports center. This guy here will give us the upgrade to our gun, which lets us shoot normal attacks and secondary attacks and be able to hit lights around corners and also enemies. It also lets us hit multiple lights at the same time. Can I just go in here in this room next to us and get a few points and a chest? Now we're gonna do an another missed, easily missed uh, shaman here. That is to talk to this guy, I believe, or it might be hitting him. One of the two. That would be well deserved. And then we can continue and back out. Now that we have a new skill to our gun, we get a combo attack that deals 100 damage per shot, which means you, you just do what the game taught you. In now we can buy this item. Ammo refill is very very nice. So that means we can shoot more often. Right, hit this light. Get over. Do some more fights here. No. All the coins. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna go through these barriers. But we're gonna do two things here. Need a super ball to be able to do things. Open the door that is behind us. But this place looks suspicious. If you place a cube on it, click this white button, and we have a super ball. Place that in the ring. Now, if you look over there, there is a yellow light. Shoot our red gun with it. What was it? The projectile changes color when it hits a yellow barrier. That allows it to hit the yellow light and trigger it. Restore these flanks over there. Alright, so we throw this restore this plank and place a cube in it, that will land up there. That will protect the super ball that shoots out. And lands on the side over here. Now we're gonna place the super ball in this pipe instead, so we need to remove the cube. I shoot that in there, and it would drop down into these rings. I grab it again. What that did is open up this gate here. We can reach this chest. And then we place the super ball in the yellow ring. Like that. Click this to get another super ball. This place is filled with super balls. There's a lot of pulses right now that requires them. We're gonna do this. We're gonna place it in the yellow ring again. But this time we're gonna place our cube under this door and take the ball again. Get over here. And now you see we have more and more enemies. Just throw your ball away for a moment. Can go and grab our super ball and grab all our coins as well. So we needed to hit these three rings as well. And we still need to grab the super ball and have it with us. So we do need a big key here. But the key is used to enter the big building to unlock it. But we need to. Smuggle in our super ball first. 
Because there is a yellow barrier waiting for us if we don't. I'm gonna drop that here, place a cube somewhere. That way we can't smuggle the ball in that little hole in the wall. Here you can see the barrier that will block the super ball for entering. We're gonna go to the right. Went to secret area real quick. And make the color machine purple and, and activate it. Get this tiny purple cube. And drop. Oh my god, I messed, I messed, I messed up. I went too low with it. You need to do that in a specific time. Just dropping it is fine, just don't trigger the first one, I guess. Just drop it down like so. This here is a secret item. Gonna need six of these to get a secret reward. But we get that very, very late. Gonna place a cube on this platform and click this button three times. Where it goes up. The cube stops that platform from going all the way up. That way we can actually hit it and stand on it. We touch this once to twist this uh, pipe in the right position. Now we need our Super Bowl. I'm gonna flip this once and two here to have that good angle. Stand on this. I'm gonna hit it on the left side, I believe. Like that. Oh no. It is not functioning the same way it should again. I don't understand this thing. It literally doesn't have the same physics every time I play the game. It really doesn't. So finding the spot could be really weird. Really makes no sense that this doesn't work. I'm gonna try that instead. That both of these should work, but <laughs> really, there we go. It should not be that difficult. Not even close. We're gonna flip this multiple times now to that position, so we can use this to jump over to this gap, well, this chest over here. Oh, we don't need to do that. So now we're gonna jump over to this one here. That's why we prepared a cupid there. Click the red button. Oops, don't want that. Get out down here. Alright, between the green pipe and the wall is a little secret. Just jump there and walk all the way over. It's a dead hero, number three, I believe. Oh, number four, even. Oh, three. Click the, uh, the button that unlocks a door, or opens up a door uh, above us. Jump back over here. Because we have already aligned the pipes, we can just shoot through this and this projectile will find its target. And we agreed to buy a bunch of enemies. No, we're gonna do this. Twist the pipe again two times. And now we're gonna open that. Okay, it's open. It don't look like it, but it is open. And then we shoot this. And now it's gonna be allowed to go all the way over to this red light. gonna make this machine color machine red very quick as we need a red key card progress oh didn't work we don't need that one anymore and here we get our float buckle big Upgrade to what we can do with it now. Attach to metallic stuff. Lighter metallic stuff would follow us, like a small metal ball, or battery, or anvils. Bigger objects will 
make us move as they move or if they are non-mobile objects we will simply just be able to climb with it basically or float up and down and I would leave the same way we came in now that we have done this and have this buckle I'm gonna go back into this big big building here and go through the door that we opened that I mentioned was a secret door or it opened up from below in the secret room open up this one it's a very big room we're gonna go up on the top here place our cube on this button that drop down grab this chest in here as well I'm gonna get ourselves way up here. I'm gonna use these pipes and the buckle to get up a little bit easier. Navigate here quite easily because the buckle has pretty good range. I go to right and the sort of planks and get to this one lever. That pulls that thing up a little bit so we can walk under it. Before we do that, we're gonna go and grab yet another chest. I like to make this thing there. That way I have light when I leave again, we'll come back to our place through this pipe. I can see what's going on instantly rather than having to wait a few seconds. Now we're gonna go into this that we just open up. And this is the main reason why we grabbed Stomp early. Because we need to destroy all of these and we have this one thing that requires Stomp. We're gonna Stomp, place our cube on that one and this will then obviously land on top of it. Just like so. That allows us to have this super ball roll all the way down into a yellow ring. We can grab these four coins as we wait for that. And there it drops down into that one. Now we're gonna jump over to this area over there. Triple jump should be good enough. So this is the first time we get alt fire damage times two. We are gonna need five of those uppers in total. Kill those. I do recall there's some points over here. I didn't grab them already. No. So, the reason why I'm doing so much work just to get these gun, uh, gun alt fire damage times two is because we need 128 to destroy uh, beams like these, but the small ones. But we need to melt those metal, metal beam beams later to access specific things and uh, chests and stuff. And I want it as early as possible, which means I will be able to have 128 as we get to the final boss. That means I don't have to run around and look for them later. Right, so now we're gonna do... I think this is the first weird thing in the game that we're gonna do. This little the hitboxes here are very, very generous. You can just spam jump and get up. I'm probably meant to do that later with some other stuff to at least get this one chest up here but I don't want to get back into this deep deep part of this area so I'm doing it now I can with confidence say that it is not using any glitches so it is fine on my end if you don't get up here you can always just place your cube and jump on that one Alright, we are going to go and grab our map, which I do believe has nothing to do with 100%. As far as I know, we could just skip it, but it is still an item that I would like to include. Because having it a map can be quite nice in terms of figuring out how, what the map looks like and where you need to go. In these parts as well, you get one coin. It can be nice. The map does cost 20, so you need to have 20 coins when you get up here. Now you do have a fancy map that will unlock more as you explore more. I'm gonna take some extra triple jumps here to move to this platform so we can be on top of this wall for these extra coins and also this one chest over here. I 
Now you will notice that we will find um, meet enemy types. It's all the second tankiest enemy type. Okay, 244 life. I will not fight them because I find them a little bit too slow to kill at this point. They also deal a lot of damage. I'm just gonna skip them. Instead, I'm just going all the way up on this pipe. Grab this chest. Now we have Silent Fate. I don't really think this upgrade matters at all. I mean, it does work, but I feel like it just doesn't matter. Anyway, we are gonna jump into that room that we opened before with the yellow shot. Let's enter this pipe and potentially a double or triple jump even. To get into this room. Now we have more combo damage. I'm gonna hold to right here. Walk on these tiny, tiny ledges to get to another upgrade. And it is down here. Get some more crit chance on our guns. Now at 25. Now we can jump down on the side. We are going to twist, stomp on this, and move that pipe two times. One and two. And we're gonna do the uh, the second thing that I find that might be a little bit weird and unintentional. Uh, we're gonna enter this and fly out, and we're gonna land on this frame. Like so. The end of it on this side, I'm gonna place the cube. Then I'm gonna use my triple jump to land somewhere around this kind of triangle. There is a safe place to stand on it. I'm gonna do that. Just like that, and then we can keep spamming jump to get up. I will explain how to do it the other way as well, which is much, much later. But I do this now because, as I say, I would really want these alt fire damage stuff. So, what you should be doing when you later when you have force beam, uh, I believe you're meant to place a beam on this sign and wait, that doesn't seem right. Oh, I think I know what you're meant to do. So what you're meant to do is this: you place your cube on that one as you stand on this. It's just a solution. Let's figure it out. Is that not it? <laughs> oh well. It seems like I don't remember how to do it. Hopefully that is completely fine. We are just gonna continue instead of wondering how to do it. If you do figure it out, feel free to tell me how it's done, so I don't remember. We are going to shoot into this, we're gonna stomp on this as this reactor goes over there. We can do that, and that hits a trigger behind there. I kill these guys because they are right up in my face at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna place my cube on this purple button there to unlock, open up a door. And we're gonna use this blue thing here to get all over. Remember, blue things means you can double jump and triple jump. Bonk these things to make this thing move up. Back a little bit so we can triple jump on top of it. Am I muted? No. Alright, I'm sorry. Just go hold to the right there so you can find this chest. Could be kind of difficult to notice that there is a little way down there. Now we're gonna triple jump over this gap into this room here with this lovely item. That is the second red moon. Now we can start using our uh, force cube again. Activate this launch pad, use it to get some coins and the chest. Which also has coins in it. We need to jump over here. There we go. Now we're gonna solve the rest of this place. So what we did was hit this red light there. I want that. To activate that blue launch pad there. Uh, I would love to be up there. There we go. Now we're gonna activate the second part of that. This. Then jump up on this white building. 
Start this button. Electricity and shoot that over there. Activate that. We're gonna go up on this building again and go inside something his glass roof. Then top of the chest for to grab all the 50 coins at once. Now we're gonna go and fly up over there. I just holding W means I'm also holding forward. Then this one I need a W up, I believe. I place my cube there, store that, fly up, place cube on top of the platform, hit the button to make the platform move, wait for it to align so I can stomp on this, just like that. Here we need the second ult fire damage. Do that. Let's see if we have another on ult fire damage here, so we got in three of them really quickly. We need two more, but they are going to be quite late in the game. Yeah, it's quite late in the game. Bring the bear with you, drop it down, drop the other side, or bring it, you can hold it, I suppose. Grab these extra coins here. Gonna take a route here so I can find these wooden graves and destroy them. That would be all of them that I want to destroy right in this little section. I'll destroy a few more in here though. As well, let's find some more of these barrels. I'm gonna drop this barrel, oh, throw it over there, store this in grave, and then we're gonna walk up on this side here. And the right. This here is gonna be a chest in here, but also give us an achievement for destroying or hacking our way in. Talk to him, activate your buckle, and that's all you need to do. So he's letting us in because we are not on the list, which is kind of funny. Alright, we're gonna activate this uh, platform. We want to buckle and be below it so that we can go through this big, big wall. You don't want to be in front of it because that would stop the platform where it is and you want it to go quite far so you can reach this chest. Now I have gun splash damage, which I think is. Underrated, oh sorry, overrated or whatever. It's not good, that's what I mean to say. Because the combo is just better. I'm going to go and grab another red barrel at this point as we get out of this area. And I follow these coins to get it. As I go and place this in the shop, I'm gonna grab no extra coins there. I noticed where my barrel is, it's way, way far down. I give that to him and grab this other barrel. That, I'm gonna buy both of these upgrades. I use this to get up. We can grab this white barrel now if you, if you really want to. Maybe we can do it later. I'm gonna take it now. And I'm gonna back up here because there is another chest over here. Just jump down and use your double or triple jump even to make sure you reach this. There we go. Now I'm gonna go and grab my white barrel again, wherever that might have landed. I am unsure. Oh no. Oh, nice. So we're gonna make this red by coloring it red. Oh, we do that. Let me change the color again. Now we can turn this in.
I think if we start noticing some uh, upgrades of Stein, it's gonna become a little bit expensive. Not that one in particular, but maybe the next one. We're gonna go and do just a few more things here. The two small zones we need to uh, complete. Well, not complete, complete, but do for the first time. So we're gonna go forward here and open up this door. With our cube and our stomp, we can do that. Place the cube and the stomp on that point thing. Press the button and open up the door. What I'm gonna do right now is take this purple crystal and these flies and open up a secret little tiny cave. That carrot will be eaten up. I will go there in a second or just after doing the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna turn off this barrier. I'm very happy there are a lot of enemies here this time. That obviously gives us a bunch of coins, so that's awesome. We're gonna go up on this dirt, muddy little platform here. Well, one chest. You're at. There you go. I'm gonna make sure I grab some of these coins. They also mix up uh, shortcuts. This pipe, for an example, will take you back to where we have the coloring machine in this area. Gonna unlock this as well. This I don't remember exactly where it takes you, to be honest, because I'm not really using it. But you open it with that. Uh, we need to get a key to get that launch pad to work. And jump on this platform, and now you will notice that we are back where we noticed what the blue people were doing. I'm gonna jump to the left here. It might become really, really dark. Sometimes it does that. Get that one upgrade. And you could notice the coins were fl flying around a little, a little bit there. Probably not a big deal. Let me just drop down after grabbing both of those chests. Get the chest in the middle. Should we get some coins? There should be more coins behind here. Yep. Sometimes they spawn in more enemies, which is very, very nice. Making sure I'm grabbing all these coins because I don't want to miss them. Sounds like there are more enemies around. I just don't know where they are. Do we are here for this thing? And you can see the pipe in the end there on the right. But well, in front of us, it's in front of us at this point. Oh, we need to open this door. And because of that, more enemies have spawned. I do not mind one bit, because that means more coins. If you are have if you have taken a lot of damage, you can always heal up a little bit. I'm gonna use this and get all these coins. And here we have a lot of small enemies, so I'm gonna use my stomp. Like so. If you haven't already used the um, fireflies, I suggest doing it as soon as you have grabbed this chest, uh, sorry, this barrel. Make sure you put this down somewhere. I'm gonna place it over here, and then I'm gonna go and remove the barrier. All right, and then we go inside here. Then we open up with the uh, fireflies. If you want, you can destroy two wooden graves here. Keep the barrier down because we don't need it to be open anymore. We don't need to bounce on anything. Now we're going back to the shop to leave this barrel. 
I believe this might be the last one. Which would be nice. It is the last one. Alright, we're buying it. Because we're buying all of them. And once we bought that, we are going to go up this big pole. And use this to fast travel towards the next objective, which is the first boss fight. Okay, do this. And as soon as I land, I'm gonna turn directly around and walk up and get another wooden grave. And then we're going through this pipe. So now we're gonna go forward through this place. Instead of going to the right, we're going straight forward. So we have all the tools we need to go over that big door. You might want to heal up before the fight in case you are struggling a little bit with health. You will be able to get a few fruits over here though. Oh, I want this as well. Thank you very much. And then we can place the cube on this thing. We're gonna destroy these planks down there. And then we're gonna start working our way up on this. Really quick before that, we're taking the things in this building here. Including these three graves and the chest. Now you can destroy wooden graves with your gun. Destroy those bare planks here. Inside this are some coins in this metal thing here. If you're close enough to it, you will grab those. On your left here, when we leave, out go outside, you have more coins. Uh, have buckle active, oops, so that you can get this connection to the beam. Behind the beam is a secret and a secret chest. We want this. Keep your buckle active so we can get all the way on top. And then we're gonna open this door that you saw on our right. First, activate the shortcut, I guess, in case you fall down. Shoot this thing. And once they have hit that red launch pad over there, you can leave and activate the lever. That way we get some bunch of, a bunch of extra coins. As you can see, there are plenty of cactus here, so you can heal up. We are full. Normally, you will only be able to buy about one or two upgrades here. I can buy two. Yes, I can buy the two I want to buy. So you can see they started to become quite expensive. These are one of the more expensive ones in the game. Here is the first boss. We're gonna have to just deactivate one, two, three, and four of these uh, barriers. And this one on the right is connected to a cable with a cable up to a light. You can just barely see it over there. We're gonna jump down and shoot at it from here. And if we hear the noise of the light activating, we know that it's done. And then we can also line for the other two. It will take quite a little, it doesn't take very much damage at this point, so there's really not much reason to uh, fight him until you have removed all the barriers. Like so. At this point now he takes full damage. And just keep shooting and use combo. That way he will die pretty quickly after you remove all the barriers. Before we go into that, oh, fly up there, we're gonna go into this pipe. Because we have one lonely little uh, chest at the bottom of this. I'm gonna use Stomp to go all the way down really quickly. Where is it? There it is. Now we have to go all the way up. We could use checkpoint here, low last checkpoint, if you really want to get out of this quickly. I'm not gonna bother with that. 
So I use my tube here to see what's going on, where I need to turn, where I need to move. And I'm going to turn off my buckle at the end there. Be all ready to leave. So that is what feels about to be halfway of the main story of this game. So, we are on our, on our way to the purple crystal, but to get over there we always have more puzzles. So this first one we need to have this metal ball for. We need to push it onto this glass and activate our buckle to have that follow us or push it forward. And then we place it on this thing. We don't need anything in this room. I don't think there even is anything in that room that is even close to useful for us. But the door itself lets us go all the way up here to the top of the walls. I'm gonna quickly grab this hidden chest over here though in the corner. Then we can destroy these red planks over there. And we can double jump up after getting to the top of what our buckle could do with the metal part. We need this battery and place it right there. So we have a door over on this side that has one of these metal rods. I'm gonna jump a little bit and shoot and activate that door and open it. That seems to have done it, then we're gonna leave instantly. I'm gonna go up on this building to our left here really quickly, so that I can fight from a higher angle. That is just making things a little bit easier to fight. Oh my god. I almost fell off. You will notice that these volcano dudes will explode when they die. They do deal a lot of damage when that happens. Like so, you can just kill the other guy behind. Is that all of them? That might be all of them. We turn around and go down this little building inside it. We need this battery. Battery goes into the middle. Below here we have this electrifying thing. Gotta move it with our buckle. So grab all these coins real quick. So now we're gonna transfer this electricity electricity with our own body, then place the cube under the door. Gonna need an anvil for multiple things. I can grab this thing here again, take it to the other side here, to activate the next part of the puzzle. For that we need this blue cube, so that we can place the anvil on top of it. That way it can actually transfer this thing all the way over. Here we need the button to be pressed. We need a cube on top of this, which bounces up and down straight, it doesn't hit anything else. We also have a wooden grave to our side here, we can grab that. But the last bit to this puzzle is straight up on the top of this metal beam structure here. And we're gonna hit this key button when the cube is at the top. And opening up the door. Now, we're gonna need our battery again. As well as anvil. So you can have them on your buckle. And just walk but before we leave. One more grave. Alright. Just need this for one more little help to get over this wall. In this area, we're getting multiple achievements, I believe. At least three. So the first thing is that this guy in here wants you wants your help to get rid of the ladies outside. You're gonna have to go inside his house. We don't have to, but I'm doing it. But we need to get that dead hero up there anyway. Hey, can you get rid of this girl? Sure, let's get rid of them. So we need to demote him. That is all we need to do. So we first also need this battery over there. Actually, I don't think we need that at all at this point. Oh, maybe we do. You know what? Let's grab it. We can give this to the guy over here so anyway, in case that is actually part of an achievement. So I'm a little bit unsure which part is what. What am I doing? Let's place this battery here. Thinking about the achievements made me distract there for a moment. We're gonna go and grab an anvil and activate his door. 
Help of electricity. I'm gonna place you there. And then we just shoot through to have the electricity open his door. You can see he's a little bit sad. He's not popular. But you need this thing to give to the star in the other house. If you want to make this guy happy, you can place this sign instead. And... See, he's happy now. And the latest he do like him because he's not popular, right? Because he's good at the game. I'm gonna grab this and push this uh, sponge with us. It's because I can't hold both of them at the same time, but I want both items on this side anyway. What I'm gonna do is push this sponge all the way to the bottom of this pit or canyon. And now we're gonna demote this guy right there. Yeah, what a loser. So, now that you have helped him, that should be helped the star achievement. And he tells us how to use the Super Bowl jump mechanic, which is required for the momentum achievement. But first, we can shoot this. Oops. I guess that's fine. There. We, we want this uh, facing this way. So you can shoot the ball now inside this goal, and he will come. There we go. Good enough for rank one. It's kind of rude, but that should be Super Ball Noob achievement as well. Now, this trick that is, as you could tell, intended because they mentioned it in the game. That is how you get past quite a few obstacles or puzzles. Uh, we are going to use it to cross all over to that to these trees over there. We're gonna shoot, click this white button. Uh, Super Ball is gonna come out through the pipe. We're gonna jump, move backwards. And catch it mid-air that would give us a pretty big boost of momentum in that direction over there and then we can triple jump all over do that one and two i'm gonna go to the left side so you want to land somewhere over here because landing in the middle means you're falling down and you don't want to fall down that is not fun we can place the super ball in that ring and we grab this chest for our third red moon now i'm gonna do I don't know how many are done. done at this point, it's three of or number four, that's just weird tricks or weird ways that the slopes work in this game. It doesn't look at all like you should just be able to walk up here, but you can. And because of that, we can jump up on this part here, just like that. It might be a little bit tricky to pull off, but it certainly works. The slopes are very, very generous in this game. Now, I don't think this was the intended solution that they meant for you to find this chest. But I am doing that so I don't have to backtrack to this area later. Also help me remember that this chest is here. Anyway, we're gonna grab this Super Bowl again. Are we? No, I don't need it. I I've done the goal. I don't need it. I'm gonna drop down into the canyon. Find our dead hero, number five, I believe. And get our sponge here. Hopefully it is older than wet, but it doesn't really matter because I was making it wet. It is very yellow, so it is that's certainly filled with water. This is part of the next puzzle away. We need to open up the green pipe at the end of uh, at the wall over there. It's gonna place this thing here, but we need more anvils, so we're gonna move over with this thing right here. And I'm gonna send it back again. As we grab the anvil. So what we need to do now is place a cube in the middle there to stop this from moving too far. That way it will help us moving this oh, the electricity over all the way. We need this anvil. We need one more, so we're gonna have to find it. In order to find it, we need to trigger. Right, from this area to have this launch pad, which takes us to the last anvil. Oh, almost pushed me down. Take this anvil, and I'm gonna place it at the very end of this puzzle. About there. And grab this hidden chest. Just like that. Now we should be able to solve this puzzle completely. I'm gonna have a cube on this place. I walk here and just. 
try and place it on top of it, just like that. We need this to be continuously active all the way through, because that's the only time this blade is open. If it stops one second, it closes again, and you have to reconnect it. Got our next MacGuffin. So now we have the force beam, or purple beam, or gun, purple gun, that I'm calling it. A lot of time, anyway. So we now have access to connect to wooden parts. You have point A and point B. Uh, you also have a point where you are on one end of it. You can pull yourself up with right click. And we can do the same thing here. But this time we also want to do double and triple jumps. We want to get up on the next wooden part there, teaching you that. You don't only need the planks to connect to, you can connect to trees as well. As we can see here, connect to trees if you want to. Now we have a fire here and a cardboard, so that is to destroy that cardboard, burn it. You make a bridge and walk on it, but before we walk up, I'm gonna go on the left because we just opened up a secret. Alright, now we can walk up here. And on our left again, we have another secret. I'll make this a bridge all the way up there. Platform. And stop on this to open up the door. You will notice that we can walk on very steep angles on this force beam. And we get a really important uh, ability here. Just keep force cube stomp. So we can stomp on the cube to trigger some lights. And later, we can, well, we can damage enemies, enemies with it. Is that later? It might be later if we can damage enemies with that as well. But in the very end, we're gonna be able to destroy uh, volcanoes with that. Those are a type of grave. We need the force cube stump to do that, I believe. Oh, there we learn, or being uh, forced to learn, or figure out that we can place the force cube on top of the force beam. And here he tells us we can eliminate our beam. So if you have it active, you can click both keys and it just deletes it. So we're gonna use that here to go up. Delete and connect to the next part. I'm gonna just jump straight over this gap here. And if you have trouble coming up, getting up here, you can um, use your magnet at the top. Then make this, and he tells you steep angles, which we have already figured out. I'll remove my buckle for a moment. I would love to have this door open. I pull that open. Uh, that was acting a little bit weird for me there. I'm gonna stand on top of this door and place a cube, and hopefully we get to touch it real quick before it falls off, so we can get that coin. With this little puzzle, I'd like to place it in the middle and kind of in the middle. That way, I can just keep spam clicking as I click this button to open up the gate here. Now we're going to need a wooden crate, which is in here, as you can see there. First we're going to start this platform to move this way, and now we have to wait. As we wait, you might notice that these platforms has a wooden part on them, on each side of them, well, on two sides of them, not each one. So, we connect this and this, and then we send both of them over, and this will allow them to Pull this cube with them down to the hole on the other side. While we are waiting for that to happen, we are going to start doing the next thing. Because we don't need to sit there and wait for that to happen. And as you can see, we have another yellow pipe. At this point, you might have understood that yellow pipe means super balls. And it's a pretty large jump here, so when we trigger this laser, the ball is going to hit us in the back. We jump. And then we do a triple jump. Because of that extra momentum. Then we're just gonna pull ourselves up. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go here. This is the antenna way. We're gonna turn around, jump on top of one of those things we just pull ourselves up with. Find this extra chest in here. Alright. We are almost in Carrot Town. Almost, almost done with the whole uh, purple crystal area. I guess Carrot Town is part of the area, but the puzzles of uh, the purple crystal. With this. Um, Key. We open up this door over here. Now we're gonna go and grab the wooden crate.
might be placed under this blazer here and connect it on the top. That way we can pull it and activate this launch thing here. We just click, hold it, well, pull it once, and we get sent flying. Then they want us to connect this thing and stop the laser from being active. That way the next door is open. At this place, I would suggest clicking this button here. I don't know how many times, one is enough, obviously. But click that button, that will force the door to always be open. I would say that's quite important. I'm gonna fight some enemies here, also we can grab this chest, uh, sorry, grave. Now that we have 125 um, damage on our combo, it is not as bad to fight all the big enemies that has 244 life, because they die in two hits rather than three. Do you have a wooden grave down in the corner here? That I'd like to grab because otherwise I will forget it. There are a few things in this place that I simply refuse to do, and that would be this puzzle right here. It is to me the worst puzzle in the game. At least it's the most boring one. So we are instead gonna do a lot of other stuff. And I start buying some of these upgrades. Yes, we get some stuff. And then we're gonna collect some more things. Don't have a lot of coins at all at this at this point. That's fine. Get up on this roof, jump over to the other roof over here. Destroy these planks and get a pickaxe. Drop down on the side of this building and destroy another wooden grave there real quick. Go behind the building to destroy these bricks. They can be destroyed with a pickaxe. Oh, open up the door. We will most likely have to fight. Kinda surprised that we haven't been spawning enemies yet. Right, destroy one or two of whatever of those so we can reach those parts up there. Toss this thing up to that brick wall. On the very top is a wooden plank that you can't reach from the very bottom just standing there. We don't see it. It's kind of rough, kind of dark, but we can get up. Now we are going to need a red pickaxe and also a diamond pickaxe. We're going to place that there for now. So that we can color it later. This guy tells us about a drink and needs yellow seed and some acid. That is so we can become strong. So we're gonna fix that first. Let's grab one of these and go and dip this in acid. And here the game is apparently extremely quiet. I'm not quite sure why. But we dip this in acid and it turns it into green green sponge and it doesn't burn up or melt. Alright, just place it in the barrel and we activate this and we can grab the three coins here. Then we drink it. And now we are strong. In order to be able to use the coloring machine that we just walked through or passed, we need to do a few things. We need a barrel, but to get to the barrel, we need to activate this thing over here. This thing to be precise. That activates that, but we need to turn it, so we need to get up there. I absolutely want to kill these guys because we are already kind of low on coins. Lower than I would like to, but probably average average out in the end. Oh. We want to get up here. And we might as well go for the next plank. But we can jump over to this area up here so we can get up all the way. I'm gonna take this pipe. Just saw like that. Let me click this. That now had turned that, so it will push us that way, which is what we want. Before we jump into that. Let's go into this roof here and go inside the building. So, oh, hello. We're gonna jump on this and it slows down so that you have more time or position to be able to shoot that barrel, which is what we need. Yeah. 
Since we are close to these guys, I'm gonna actually grab these coins at this point. Alright, we got the barrel. This barrel will activate the coloring machine here. The only way to activate it that. We want it to be red so we can make a red pickaxe. We also want a red key card. Do this. You can color both at the same time. Take the key card, activate that. Now we take the pickaxe. This is going to be for the redstone pickaxe achievement. This guy wonders how you made that. So makes sense. It says it's also pretty useless because it cannot mine for you. We're gonna take this back and turn it into a damage pickaxe at this point. So we need something blue, which is this tree just above here. There we go. And we go back to that same guy. And now he's happy. That was weird. Anyway, it's all good. We need one of these crystals, but first, before we do that, I want to get this chest on top. There's a hidden wooden part inside it there. Uh, so shooting your force beam with your gun makes the projectile purple in this case. Which allows you to trigger purple lights. So we take one of these crystals and run back and we're gonna color this. And I think you might have guessed it, we're gonna make it purple again. So, purple color there. There we go. And this means we are working on the achievement called Payback. Which means we're gonna destroy all of that harvest. I do have some extra coins at this point, so I'm gonna buy both of these. that and also destroy some extra wooden graves. I don't know if we need all of these. I'm not taking away all the fireflies from this place. That's what I've always done. You can unlock a shortcut or a launch pad that we might not be using but it is behind those carrots. And then we destroy the harvest with this. I don't know if you need to destroy every single thing in here but we'll do every single thing and then he say he hates us and if you want you can destroy the roof. I don't think that matters for anything, but I think it's fun. I'll do it. Now we are pretty much done in this area for now. There are things you can do if you want to look around for them. When I do the, the big ball, metal ball puzzle, you can do that. I don't like the puzzle, so I'm not doing it. I'm just going to skip it with more movement tech later on. Right, so we need these fireflies to eat a few more carrots. We have one right here. Just toss it forward. Place down a cube there. And we'll hit that button at the top. Look to our left and a little bit behind us for this secret room. Some juicy extra coins. Always in need of coins, as you will notice many times. Alright. Here is the last few pumpkins and carrots that we need to deal with. We just toss it that way and hopefully he eats all of them. He did not. We're gonna pull ourselves up with this plank up there and grab these 20 coins. And we need to destroy this last carrot. Let's just make sure that happens. Like that. And we don't need them anymore. Uh, we are gonna do this part here. Just place your cube down on that button. Because we know that the side of these have a wooden part, we can pull ourselves up and Connect with our buckle for the last bit, then jump over to where this button is following the cable that we can get inside here and do the next little tiny puzzle. We need this crate, the wooden crate, placed on this little pedestal, connect it over here. Oh, is that too low? Place your cube in front of it. I'm gonna jump up on this side here real quick. And get up on top of here. M might need a double jump, I don't know. I'll fall down in the corner for just a few extra coins. Might be some enemies around here now. Oh, I'm barely not this time. Alright, 
don't touch your cube or your force beam at this point because you need them to have this launch pad active. This one right here. And this is why we need strength in this game. But we need it for this to be able to complete the game. Then later we need it for another chest. But we can also unlock this shortcut if you want to. Or damn it, leave. I think that would be all of them. Hope so. I'll place a cube here so make sure I can jump over. Sometimes I fall down because it's a little bit finicky. I'll make it. I will be in connect to this signpost and place a cube on top of it. And then we jump up. I have three coins here and also a chest over there. There's a big coin up there that I will not be taking, but if you want to go there, you can do that after you get the translocator gun, which is quite far away. I jump on this chest and grab all the 50 coins from it. If you notice, there was another upgrade in uh, Character Town that cost 250 coins. We still don't have enough of that. I am not bothered to focus on getting it at this point. I'll just do that the next time we come back after we have completed the main story. We're gonna walk all, all over of this uh, wall here towards this palm tree. And at the bottom, there are two coins, well, 20 coins. And we're gonna go back to the Super Ball area. Then we just pass out the star, that is. Now we are gonna also bring quite a few items with us. That includes three anvils and one sponge to make the puzzle in the next place possible. So, we connect to all three of these. Hopefully we, they will allow us to move around freely. Sometimes they get a little finicky and start pushing you in a direction but this should be fine, place them here. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna activate the shortcut, grab that chest, and, well, grab two chests, actually. So we're gonna jump up on this little building here, the tower. That is the shortcut that we can get back to uh, Carrot Town really quickly. Get the chest. Then I'm gonna go down here. We can now destroy this thing. The first one here, and then we just hold right until we hit the wall. I have a chest hiding in here. Right. The, sometimes this pipe here is a little bit finicky when you're trying to pull a lot of items through it. So you might get stuck in it. And if it does, I guess you need to reload the game. If it happens, it happens and we will reload. But I'm just gonna throw my things through and hopefully nothing is standing in my way as I get through it. There we go. Alright, so we have these two behind us. Oh, before I do anything else, I would love to grab this wooden right by there. Gotta pick that up. Activate my buckle to grab all the animals with me. We still need one more item to be able to do this puzzle. That is how many things we need. We need five items to do it, including not including ourselves. What I'm gonna do first is place this sponge in about this location. I'm gonna go and grab the metal ball that is very nicely just close by. Just reset it first and then we grab it. We're gonna place that in the little ring that we could see next to these things. If you haven't already, make sure you open up the door over there with the electricity. And place that thing down there. There's some enemies around here. Gonna kill them real quick. So what we wanna do is connect all this electricity all the way down into the water and then also with this thing over there. There are other ways you can do that, but I'm not going to do it the sneaky way or the cheesy way. I'm going to do it the way the puzzle seems to be made for. I'm also going to just throw one of them down there in one corner as I go down and place this there. Right, I want to grab these coins. Yeah. 
place this one between these two water parts. And we will function as the last part here. Somehow, like that. In here we now have an upgrade that allows us to destroy stone graves. So we have more graves we can destroy. This is probably the longest puzzle in the game. So we're going to start destroying some of these as well, these ones. Just like that. I should also give you five coins if I remember correctly. Also, we have the chest that is in this building that we open with that thing. Have this little thing here, so we're just gonna have to do a shot to make it purple. I well kill this enemy here that should spawn. And we're gonna use this good up. This pipe it requires 166 stars, so we don't have enough of that. Can't open it. So we're gonna do some other things and get the most uh, highest quality of life upgrade in the game, I would say. Which also lets us fight a few more enemies after we're grabbing it. And you can see that is a yellow pipe that uh, yeah, you can activate this shortcut if you want to get back up if you fail to jump. We're just gonna do this thing again. Oh, I almost missed. Messed up. And we get coin magnet. Actually, that is easy to understand what that does. And we also get the chance to check out how good it is. Because when we grab that, all these enemy spawns. And you can see they do pick up coins from pretty far away. It is very, very nice. This also helps with chests, so now we don't have to really stand on top of them anymore. If you just walk next to this wooden part here, you will automatically connect to the metal beam behind it. We can get that lever and open this little pipe. Then we jump through it, and we are now back at this, uh, I want to say the canyon, desert canyon. We're gonna leave this place kind of quickly. I'm gonna grab some of these uh, graves though. But since there are a lot of enemies spawning, take the moment to kill them for some extra coins. So why not? We want to activate this, and he, I believe, has one more that he wants us to destroy. It would be this one up there. If I can hit it. There it is. That should be all of them. We have a stone grave here as well. We can take that. Now I'm going to use this platform or this launch pad like this to grab these 30 coins. And we're also gonna stomp on the top of this so we can get some of these coins. Let me jump down and we have more stone graves in this area we can take right now. Most likely also a fight here as well, because of these volcano park pits. There we go. Oh, we have one more over here. Let's grab this one as well. Alright, normally I have about 100 more coins at this point, but I have also bought, I think, one or two extra upgrades. Oops. Now we can go into Blue Build, just beam yourself up through the get over the gate. And our cousin here is showing up again and being rude and stealing most of our stuff. So we no longer have a double jump or triple jump. We don't have a gun, we don't have a buckle. A lot of things are just gone. We do keep our sword and force beam down, so that's something. We need to be blue in order to enter. The top, 
So we're gonna force our mother here to walk onto this platform there, the button. That's why we made this blue, so now we are blue. The coloring machine, allowing us to activate these three rings. Now starts the hunt to buy back our, all our upgrades. So this room here has five coins in it. I'll grab those real quick. Also, I'm gonna grab the chest onto the house. Oh, that one extra help. Let me buy force beam gold module. So that is a new one. It allows us to connect our force beam to gold. Like this thing. So we can just do this uh, and put it back. Grab this battery that we will be using multiple times in this area. So we want the battery to land in this little thing there. I place it on this place and in front of the launch pad there. Oh, and then we need a beam crossing over that area. And we do that. And that should make it fall down into it. And it does. So that's step one. And we, go, we work on step two here. Which is to get a metal ball. That pops up from this thing there. And then we can start pushing it. Or pulling it. Not pushing it. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky with how things work here. I can just make a new one. I'm not sure why this is so difficult. <laughs> like, why? You shouldn't need to crouch. Sometimes it's just not an issue at all. Other times it's just really, really finicky to get this ball to roll out. There we go. Let's keep trying. It will work. One point. So we're gonna go and stand on top of this launch pad and just toss the ball down. Remember you do not have double jump or triple jump so you can't do any fancy stuff at the moment. We need to open this door and then pull ourselves back up here. That way we can stand on top of this door and make ourselves a little bridge, bridge here. We now have 30 coins, which means we can buy back two upgrades. Which means we have our lovely double and triple jump back. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna go and grab another hero. Just laying around. Connect these two things there and walk up on this door. Connect on the top of that part and this part, and we can triple jump up to this roof and grab that guy. I don't remember which number in the order that that guy is, might be 5 or 6. I'm gonna grab this thing real quick. I'm not really gonna use this ball yet, but we want this wooden uh, ball somewhere over this side. Before we do anything else, we need to jump to this other side of the blue wheel and start collecting some more coins. Connect your to the door here somehow, and then you can just jump up. And have this one 10 coin over here. We jump over the door to this ledge and follow this ledge all the way around. And crouching so we get inside this building. So if we can get this key. I'm gonna go under the building first and grab the next 10 coin here. And I need 40 in total. There's 10 more coins. And there are five here and five on the floor above us. Now we are going to go and buy our next, or buy back our next upgrade, which is the force cube. And with that, we can then recolor items again. We're gonna buy this and grab a crystal. And you guessed it, it's gonna be purple. And we're gonna use fireflies again. Drop that here, and drop the cube in there, activate this myself, and I will leave. The uh, flies are in the back here, Next to, near this pipe, there they are, in the grass, just grab that. The solution to this opening this door will be seen quite soon. We're grabbing this blue crystal away on the bridge here. Do that, and we can see that on the top. Just 
match the crystal colors like that. Uh, we can toss things this way. Also need this thing. Toss that, but we need one more. That is that we need the battery once more. Respawn the battery and bring it with us. How did the battery roll all the way back here? That is very weird. I mean, not battery, metal ball. We can probably toss that all the way into those vegetables over there. We no longer need that crystal to place that battery in there. Bring this metal ball with us up through the oh, on top of this ramp. The ball is gonna transform into electricity force in a second. We need to do a few things first. We need to place that there so that it's ready to roll down when we want to. And then we can connect these wooden part, uh, golden parts. So we're gonna remove that cube in a bit, so that the ball can start rolling down into this part, and it will uh, activate both of these. That will activate this launch pad right there. But what we need to do is put the cube on this, so that the cube bunches up and opens that door for us as we go down and wait for it. So like that, and then you walk in quickly. Otherwise, the door is closed and you have to redo it. Now we got 60 coins, which means we get to buy back our uh, red MacGuffin, the red gun. But you know here, we have one more upgrade to buy back. But this part here is really, really quick. Probably the quickest part in the, of the puzzles in Blueville. You could hear that the door was closed on us behind us. That doesn't really matter too much. And we just activate that purple light. Here we get 120 coins and a big chest. This chest has the coins we had before they were stolen from us. We got all of that back. We're gonna go to this house here. This is a brick wall, this destructible wall. With the chest inside. Now we need to go back out and buy back our um, boat buckle, which we just got 120 coins for. That means that we are soon going to be walking into a pretty long cutscene. I think it's about two minutes long, there's nothing I can do about it. So, what we are going to do, we're going to go up through the pipe. Oh, outside the pipe. And destroy the wall up there. You can just walk all the way up through the ramp and then jump over to the pipe. It's a little bit faster than floating from the bottom to the top of the pipe. We might as well open up the door for the queen. And then we connect these two oh, golden parts right there. Go inside this secret little corridor. Activate that, that electricity so that the door to the King's chambers, I guess, is open up like so. And here is that long cutscene. are going to be a few coins in this room that we could grab after this cutscene is done. Walk 
up here. Not sure if I need to be on this side or not, but I'm, I think it's easy for me. There are, I believe, six coins just behind the blue pipe. The top, the on the top left there. So we learn a bit about the story between, you know, that's our mother and her husband's twin brother. They used to be dating and all that. Apparently, this guy is just a massive jerk. If you are listening in at this part, I guess this is a good time to ask. Well, if you have anything you're wondering, please feel free to ask in the comments. If there is something you dislike with the video, it's maybe it's too fast, it's too difficult to follow. Please let me know. I would probably ask that question in the chat in the comments as well, just to make sure that things here, uh, this way of making the video or guide is working decently for people to follow. And I hope we'll also find what they need in the video. Everything should be in the video, so but uh, if you have a specific thing that might help, like names of items or occasions, maybe I should uh, use timestamps in a different way. If you know, know something that might be a little bit easier, that you find easier to follow, don't be afraid to tell me. I'm going to do my best to make it easier for all of us. But yeah, that was that cutscene. I'll be back to trying to find a, our blue cutscene that just keeps being really, really annoying. Uh, what can we do? It's a video game. We have to deal with it. The only sad part I would say about this game is that there's really not that much RNG to deal with. Good Metrovanias do have some RNG to them, especially good boss fights, but this game is missing that part of it. It doesn't really have the, I guess, Castlevania feel to it. I guess that's a little bit more of what I'm looking for uh, to describe what I feel like I'm missing. It is okay, this is definitely a more puzzle oriented Metrovania. But it would just be, mm, it would have been quite nice with some RNG to things. Or some more boss fights that are part of a puzzle. Anyway, we're gonna go into the volcano. But before we go all up there, we're gonna go to the left here and grab two chests and a few coins, which also spawns a few enemies. There's one chest down here to the right. It's kinda hard to see with all of these flares in your face. And here we get what I believe is the most useless upgrade in the game. I do not like it one bit. But that spawns these two enemies that be killed in one shot. Yeah, I think it is a little bit too hard to use that skill that we just got. We can place a cube inside a enemy and it will kill it or deal 90 damage to it and try to kill it that way. It just you need to aim so much more to do that. That's like I don't want to do that. I need to aim, I'm not aim with other stuff. Like a stronger combination of damage. Alright. Oh, hello. Spawned another one minus. So, as I said mentioned earlier, I believe, is that seems to be a one randomness of this game is that it might be randomized how many enemies spawn from one source, one grave. And I have noticed, I believe, two being able to spawn from one of these volcanoes. And we want as many as possible to spawn because we want all the gold. I mean, I think we had a pretty good spawn there, but more than one in each, well, in, on average at least. We're gonna open that door, that's quite important for this part here, so we're just gonna do this, and then we shoot that thing over there to get a super ball again. We need two gold nuggets in this area, we're gonna find out how to make yellow paint, and we place those two there. What we're gonna do is aim up at halfway in power, and then we triple jump over, and we catch the super ball on the other side here. 
We're gonna shoot that in there for to make that yellow, and then we're gonna trigger the yellow light so that we can paint these things. And look at that. This guy wants two of them. Obviously, these nuggets are quite fake because we just colored some rocks. Not really worth anything. This guy doesn't know. So he allows us to jump down here, which is perfect. So we get our next um, upgrade to our stuff. That means we can connect our beam to our cube. That is going to be used in a few places to transfer electricity and stuff, but we're gonna use that right here. Place the cube on that part over there, stand in front of the launch pad and pull the cube towards you. We do have a few more um, easily missed uh, achievements, but we can't quite do them yet. We're gonna do three of them after completing the game and one other is going to be done as after we get the translocator cube so we can't do it before that right here we're going to have uh, 30 coins and one dead hero and a red move there's a lot of things in this one little spot here jump over this side find Goku I believe I actually don't remember And we jump this way for the further coins. Then we turn and we jump left. Let's activate that as, as we are standing on the ground so we have other jumps. I'm gonna go up on this building and grab that coin. As well as this chest. We now have four red moons, and we need two more. The last one we will get after completing the story. Activate this electricity, kill the last guy I guess. We can then connect that and walk backwards into towards this thing. You can walk in the order you want, you can also probably just use your cube to place and connect to transfer that electricity. Now we have a waiting uh, puzzle here. We need four small rocks on top of this thing. As well as we're going to need to make these wet. I'm going to toss them this way. Before it's fully turned in yellow, you can actually toss that quite a bit further than if it's actually fully wet. And you can see I can't touch that very far at all. But the previous one I tossed all the way there. We need both of these. And some more rocks. One more. That is now active. Before we jump up there though, we're gonna help this guy detect what these fake nuggets are. If you have issues finding them, you can equip your force beam or your purple gun. And when you aim at these nuggets, you will notice that those that you can connect to, they have a purple little outline around that crosshair or in this case hand icon. That means they are real. If you don't want to do that, there is always going to be this one right there. That is fake. And also this one there, because they don't have these purples. Purple icons. So do that, and he's very happy. Now we walk into these things and place our cube up here. Now we can connect the electricity to go up here so that we can activate that door to go down the gate. We're gonna go inside here, grab a chest, and also more fireflies. So we're gonna have to lead them out of this place, because we can't just grab them anymore. We don't have the tools for it. They do not like the water though, so you cannot make them go through water. 
when you can't try, they will just disappear, I believe. This, connect them to this cube on the side. Something like this is probably good. Down there. And this, and then we need to place the cube down again. And connect to that one. Now they will eat these carrots. We need to do one other thing here, so we can get this electricity to go down into the water. And we need one of these. That is so we can rescue our annoying cousin. Because we need to open up a uh, door that requires some electricity. But I need to shoot at it. He does do that. And he's very, very happy about that. So we're going to walk up here and wait for him. So we can get the key that he will give us. Here he is. We're going to grab that so we can open up this door. It's right down here. We now have his translocator tool. We'll also be greeted by apparently only one enemy. I thought it was always two. That is quite alright. It is currently easy to grab this ball and toss it yourself. Toss it further than you shoot it. So, until you have more upgrades, I would say do that. The secret chest below these or outside of these. Uh, Behind those plate uh, planks. Let me leave again. Activate that ring. And opening up this pipe. We're gonna use this twice. Once to remove the cardboard. Second to light that candle. We're gonna go over here again. And also do burn that cardboard over there. I'm gonna throw this back inside. As I'm gonna go and grab this now. That way I can teleport back after grabbing this chest. Grab that chest and we do that. I'm gonna keep moving this fire just a little bit. It is a lot of work for 20 coins, but we are doing it. There's another candle over there, so you wanna shoot at it. Hopefully we hit it. We did hit it. Cool. Uh, okay, we're gonna place that there. That opens up one door. This opens up the other door and to shoot our translocator ball through the door. Then we can teleport to it. We need to kill those guys and place your ball into this ring. And we have more flies. That we want to connect. Kill all of those guys and connect the flies over here, I guess. Connect that golden pit. Wait for them to go all the way up, then you can connect them to this. And since they do turn into fireflies, basically, as they cross the lava. Maybe he'll burn his cardboard for us. Now we have extra shot force, which probably means that you no longer need to pick up your translocator ball in order to reach higher areas or further. Alright, here I like to run and triple jump and then shoot it kind of high up. Like something like that. That might have been. Nope, that was fine. Should up here for some coins. There's one extra coin there. These two, and then I'm gonna jump over to the side. Because we have not only more coins over here, we have more uh, well one more chest. Well two actually. Get those. Shoot through that light to burn the cardboard. 
And now we're gonna jump over this gap and shoot it over to the chest. Inside of this small little area, it will allow you to transport. Let me jump up, go to the right, and just jump down on this little platform there. There we help our cousin once more to get further. As we wait for him to walk up with us, we can destroy this cardboard here for some coins. That's why I lined that up early. Just do that. What we're gonna need here is to make him orange. So for that we need to drop an orange carrot down there. Then he will be Inclined to go and eat that. We're gonna have to stand on this big button to stop the water. And when he's close, we're gonna have to click this to activate the coloring machine, like so. And then we wait so he's off the platform so he doesn't get cleaned up with the water. Next thing is to make our new translocator ball red. Place the translocator there. Step on this way for the water. And do that. And with that, you also learn that the Color machine will push your ball away from it. Now he's gonna run because we have code red pretty much. Before we go further, we're gonna try to shoot our transfer ball into this building for another upgrade. That should be all the translocator gun upgrades. You have 400 damage on it and it shoots quite often and quite far. This here is a good amount of enemies. I like it. Very nice. To so this next building to activate the the launch pad outside. To that, grab your ball, push it under this, and buckle up with it to place it on this button. Oh, sometimes it's not quite that good. Oh. Oh, come on, can you stay? Is it always open? Oh, it's always open after hitting it. I see. <laughs> I didn't know that. Alright. We're gonna go into town here really quick because we have the translocator ball. Uh, translocator, translocator gun, which allows us to grab two chests real quick. One of them are quite important because it's gun alt fire damage. And I want all of that. So, it might, it's a little bit easier to go get inside this top here by holding the cube and moving it inside. I'm not gonna do the same thing when we leave, so that I don't go get too far. We'll do that. Stand on this platform here. We're gonna jump up there. And with the translocator ball, that's easy. And then we're just gonna push this ball through these bars for that one chest. Oh. Go back the same way. Now we are gonna have to go and find some new stuff. And we're gonna go back to just where we came from. We open this little gate. And the guy over there will tell us, hey, go find two green moons. We're gonna go find two green moons. We're also gonna buy his uh, item, which is 400 coins. So I'm trying my hardest to always have 400 coins in this area. And luckily we do have enough. So he mentions that there, we grab that, and then I use this to get out. Before we go to the red crystal area, which just tells us that right now, I'm gonna go back to red town. Starting area. I guess we can fight as well. I don't mind that. It's gonna be more coins. Uh, so we are gonna do a little underground area. It's quite dark. Because that takes us back all the way to red town. We're gonna do that now. So what we need is to shoot down this key that is on top of this thing. Shoot it. Hit it. And we'll Jump down. It might fly far, it might not fly very far. I don't really know. So go to that key. Usually a lot of enemy spawns here, so I'm gonna take this moment to actually kill them before I go away. I'm kinda sad with how few there are at this point. Might as well destroy that, I guess. And this. Add a medium one. Small one. Small one. Alright. 
the safe way here is to place a cube before you jump. Just do that. You have a cube down there, floating on the lava. You can land on that for safety. Now you notice it gets really dark. This is where you want to hold your force cube button to make sure you have some light. We can basically move forward here, just jump over these gaps. We're going to do one, two, and then go left. And then we're going to keep moving straight forward. At the end of this, we just do a triple jump. One, two, and three. And we are safe to continue in here. We have another hero down here, so make sure to click that. Place your cube on this button to open up the door over here. Now we're going to be ambushed, but luckily or sadly, it's only two enemies. So they're going to be right there and kill them. I'm going to turn around. There's little, little things above us for one kind of sneaky chest, to be honest. That one took forever for me to find. We're also going to go into this red pipe that we could have done really, really early if we wanted to. Because... It has a chest in here, so that's quite important to grab. But I'm doing it now because it's just fast, we have way more movement speed. And all that. And there's two coins behind us as well, if you want them. Alright. There is one more chest down here. It's gonna be up with the blue pipe. We're gonna buckle here, magnetize all the way up. We can see this chest from the top, from the surface. But it might be hard to know where it is. So, there it is. So now we're gonna go back into town. And we have... Everything we need. First, we're gonna just do this. We're gonna buy this upgrade right there. Because I want to do it. I want to buy it. We're gonna open this door here. It requires 80 fame. We have way more than that. So we got a free chest. Wait, an item in it. Stomp damage. Here comes a uh, miss, easily missed achievement. This guy wants you to assist him in a trick. So you place your translocator, translocator cube in one box and to the other box. I don't think it matter which one you go into. As long as you are not in the same one as your ball. Now, we teleport when he says he is now. That I know is a safe point to do it. And then, when we are done here, they say, wow, that's amazing. And your applause is justified. Very nice, very nice. Now, we are going to... Oh, we're going to do this first. Shoot this light there. So that was the achievement. The real, real teleported man. Now I know that it has been shown. Continue. We want to enter our own attic. Get a chest. And then we leave again. Oh, finally just lift it up and out. And we're gonna go up through here a little bit, and there's a white block. We can lift that because we're strong. Get this lovely little combo damage. Super nice. We have two more things we wanna do here before we continue. One is to stomp this roof or another chest. Open the door. At the bottom here, behind this grass, is a breakable wall. And another secret chest. Now, something I normally forget. But I remember this time is this fire. We're gonna use that fire to destroy some cardboard. And to do that, we actually need to shoot it over to that. Oh, whoops. Um, to the other candle. Just wanna stand on top of it. So, the candle is next to this tree. Just shoot it over there. And it should activate. Oh, well, light that up. We walk to this candle. And then you see the cardboard over there. And that hits it. Now we can get up there pretty easily, I believe. Just use your translocator pod at this point. Nothing is difficult with that. Get our lovely chest and coin max coin upgrade. So we're gonna go the back doors way into red crystal at this point. Jump here so you don't fall down. Go left, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna toss the ball down into that little pit. And then we grab the chest on the top here and teleport. And we grab the one on the bottom. So your force cube can stop fire. So you just do this and you're free to move past it. On our right, we have two graves that we want to destroy. 
then we're gonna jump over here. If you fall down, you can translocate up or even use that wooden part with your uh, force beam. Bangs us up a little bit. We are gonna go up through this pipe. That is a chest up there. It's a very secret chest because you have to do a thing to actually make it appear. Get up here real quick. I'd like to place the cube under me just so I have extra safety of that jump and shot. Now we're just gonna go all the way up and we're gonna st stomp on the blue handle. That will make the uh, chest appear. So, like this. You can shoot the transcript ball that way, get teleport to it, and then go for the chest. Faster, swinging speed is always nice. Now we're gonna jump to the left and all the way to the left like this to end up on this big platform. And there is a chest way over there. There's a chest down there and also one in this ruins. But we take this one first because it is certainly the one that is more difficult to reach. Or well, takes more time rather. Do that and then we can just triple jump all the way down. The solution for this otherwise is to just get up and click that button and jump on that launch pad and you get up here. It's really nothing difficult at all. Oh, make sure you grab items from your chest. That is our fifth red moon, so we only have one left to do. And we're gonna get up to the, these things here. The chest and uh, the coin. I'm gonna shoot this thing up for the coin, grab the chest, get the coin. There's four coins over there below the um, pipe. I'm just gonna jump to those. Potentially even use translocate to make sure we get over. Now we're gonna go and grab the two green moons, but as we do that, I'm gonna destroy some of these lovely, lovely, lovely graves. Gonna go and grab another one somewhere nearby. There are enemies around, you may kill them. So we're gonna go in here again. And this time, because we have a stop, we're gonna go through the glass here and also this break of a wall. It's one chest out of three <laughs> in this one little area. So we use our buckle belt to float over here. Buckle belt? What? Float buckle. Buckle belt, I guess. I don't know. And then we need one more thing from here. I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna go up and land here. Switch over to this and shoot it up and teleport. Very big chest. That is a green moon. Activate that and get out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. I go for this building now. We need a translocator ball for that. And we do this, shoot it inside. That is the other green moon. Getting out is a little bit more difficult, so we probably just grab it and let's just make it that easier. And destroy these things there. Uh, activate this. And then we can leave. We will come back here later, again, to destroy a lot of um, graves. We don't need to destroy all of them now. Because we still can't deal with the volcano graves. Alright. We have a pipe. Hiding here, this one. Next to the Lego brick walls. Shoot your ball inside. Wait for it to be available to transfer to it. Teleport. Get this chest there. Right, now we're gonna jump over to this other side here, so we're gonna do one, two, and three jumps and shoot a translocator ball. That way we get over. There we go. With that, we should be ready to continue towards the, uh, the green moon door and also, you know, finishing the game. But we have one little thing we're gonna do, but first, we're gonna do for that. But I have no clue what I'm saying. So we're gonna shoot our translocator ball on top of this, and we're gonna teleport to it and just fall straight down. We have two coins over here that I want. 
and I think now is a very very nice time to grab them. And then I also have two more chests that I would love to grab. So we just jump back to the same place here. We are going to jump over to this metal helmet. And after that, we are gonna do a little trick. Well, it's not really a massive trick or anything. I guess it is a little trick then, huh? So, do this and get up here. I hold my ball here and do nothing else and then drop it. Make sure it lays still, and it does, and I'm gonna switch my gun to something else. That is so I can teleport back to that exact location after grabbing both of these chests over here. So one chest is on this side of the mansion, the Blue King Kingdom's mansion. It's gonna sneak away in here, get two more coins here, or well, 20 more. We can use our force cube though, to jump up here and get this one chest. Do that again. Now we have only the one chest over here. I do believe there are some coins in one of the hidden areas in here, somewhere over there. But I am not sure exactly where they are. I don't want to waste, you know, three minutes trying to find them. I based that on having looked at the, uh, the interactive map. Uh, what we are going to have to do is go all the way across this puddle of water or acid or whatever that might be. You can see multiple crystals over there and water. We do not, we are not able to swim. So, with force beam, we are going to do this. Make sure you eliminate it in between pulls. If you do not el eliminate it, you will make two points on the wooden part and you will not be pulling. You are just in the air. And all the way over here is this chest. This allows you to see how many graves you have left. And when we grab this, we're gonna teleport and we hop back up to where we placed this ball. Because I don't wanna swing my way back. Because not only is it a little bit frustrating to do, especially if you fall down, it also saves a lot of time just teleporting. So, we place those two, moon, two moons, wait for the door to open, around the corner, we have this. Now we are going to be forced to figure out how to solve some puzzles and what else is this game that they haven't told us about. You can color your own ball with your own weapons, you can make it red that way. Now we're gonna try and make it, we're gonna make it purple by just touching the force beam and place it down there. You're gonna destroy both of these things over there and look up you have laser touch that with a shot to get your super ball and then we can shoot it into that ring over there there's a lot of things that happen right away here oops some enemies on our left oh I was dead yet we died all right, a few more enemies around here. So we're gonna kill them first before we take the next chest. Like that. I'm gonna go up this place with the translocator ball. We are having no issues with this. I'm gonna teleport and then activate a uh, belt just so we can connect to that pipe. Now we have 250 combo damage, which is exactly what I would like to have. Because that is what is needed to one hit certain enemies. That is going to be very, very useful. With the lava, we can destroy the cardboard, as before. You have two destroyable blocks, we can do that. And you see this heavy button, cube 800, cube weights 444. We're going to use that, and here we're going to use the fact that the water, uh, the coloring machine will push your uh, translocator ball away. We're going to activate the coloring machine this way. And see that it, the translocator ball is being pushed inside. We need this white flower to make this. Now do white colors. Now we can jump up here and destroy these two planks. Like that. We can also do this to remove that cardboard. And now we need something white. It doesn't really matter what is white as long as you can quickly pull it through those three white rings. I'd say we do this. I'm gonna make my... You, Myself, white, so you do this and teleport to it. And I am now full of white. 
Every tap was force beam. I can pull myself up through this quick enough. Do that. Now we're gonna shoot our translocator ball inside there. Or close enough so that you can activate it on these nails. I'm doing that and just teleporting in. And toss the ball down there. A lot of enemies are gonna spawn here. I'm gonna prepare to grab the next Super Ball. This is gonna happen right here. Place just that translocator ball there, so we are unlocking. Well, not unlocking. Setting that up. There we go, as you can see, we one hit them. Translocator ball is there. We're gonna place our force cube on this button and teleport. Just we need to catch this. At this point you might need to avoid a couple of enemies, especially this one, because it's gonna spawn up here and wait for you. And then we can do this. Hopefully it lands inside. And it does. And then we're gonna shoot this down there that way. There's a few more enemies around here. Alright, now we grab this. I'm gonna do a little thing here. I want to kill them. I want to kill them all. I'm gonna grab this ball again. Actually, I don't know if I need it. Do I? Wait, what? Oh, I managed to... I, I forgot I'd actually shot it. We do that again. And <laughs> we shoot our ball down again. My bad. Let me do this and teleport. We, oh, we need to grab this again, but we don't need it in here. Uh, in that pipe, you place your cube. We need to remove the ball, super ball from there so we can have this door being closed. That that's it, I believe. I think that is the unless we can actually just use translocator ball in that pipe. Sounds like that would be possible. Anyway, now we wait for this to reach the other end so we can teleport, and we have now found Mr. Miracle, and we have, I guess, a cutscene. Or an auto scroller. So here he's obviously running fast than we do. And then he's just gonna s slow down so much that we are still walking in the same speed as we're doing now, but we are faster than him. If you're looking for Hans Yolo, he is down in that. You see him just at the end of the that path. I can't interact with him at this point. I'm gonna do that later when we come back. So we should have Jesus Christ Superstar left, uh, Groupies, Shelf Filled, and Invisible Wall of the Easily Missed Achievements. All of those will be done after we complete the game because we are very close to the boss here. And I will try and do them as I clear the areas. Some of them requires me to bring items for a little bit of longer distance, which would be Jesus Christ Superstar and Groupies, that requires me to bring the rank 3 diamond sign to other places. But we will try to do that in a decent way. All right? we are now here, we don't really need to heal, I don't think. Step on this button right there, and two new enemies appears. If they are nice, stand close enough, so that I can hit both of them, but they did not. They are being kind of rough at the moment. There we go. <laughs> Alright, they do give a bunch of coins, so you might have well pick them up. I'm gonna switch my translocator cube here, and just save myself a few seconds. Toss this that way, and go and grab this chest on the other side here. This is the last alt fire damage upgrade. We now have 128, which is exactly what I want. 
That way we can melt some of the smaller beams later on. Don't want to get hit. Gonna go inside here real quick and do a few things. Gonna grab this ball, touch the barrier, make it yellow. That's the only way to make it yellow, as far as I know. We don't need that ball in that ring anymore. We place the force cube in behind those blocks. Then we can place the ball in here to make electricity. That is all active. This door is open. We are now allowed to start doing some other stuff. We need to color this into that. Shoot through the fire. Shoot through the fire again. And about now he should turn around and start attacking. Maybe I'm slow. Maybe I'm fast. I don't know. It is wet. Uh, we need this sponge to make it wet. Half. Can you make it wet here? Not sure. That scares me a little bit. I'm gonna see if this works. I need to be green, but I'm gonna check this. We made this more yellow. Does this transfer electricity now? It does. That's cool. Maybe it just actually turned into water. I'm a little bit unsure. Oh, I could have gone through the pipe. Dude, you are shooting a lot of projectiles. So we need to be green, so we need to be close to him. Oh my god, hand. Please move. There we go. Seems like we are fine. We need to make sure we boost this machine here. The co what, col coloring machine. And then we light up with the buckle here. Through this ring that is green. He is now orange. So now we have one thing left to do. That is to grab these flies. Toss them out to him this way. And there is the main game done. So soon we're gonna be quitting out and open, loading up the game again. But we need to wait for the cutscenes to end, I believe, so it saves properly. So I'll just wait for that. Alright, so that cutscene is done, we can then just load directly in again. So now we're going to do a lot of things and hopefully the rest of this part of the game of the video isn't going to be that much longer. But I imagine something like 40 to 50 minutes still to collect everything. Yeah, this loading screen is always quite long, at least for me, but we are back in our home. We are going to start grabbing some stuff here. We're going to grab this thing real quick and also the max coins. And that is extra movement speed. So now that we have the 120 damage on our ult damage, we can melt these beams. Get some extra chest. That might feel really weird with the extra movement this early. That's just how it is. We are gonna go to this pot here real quick. This. 
and get up inside it. So we get a lot of coins. This. We can go this way up here so we can grab a few more coins that was on these trees somewhere. There they are. Now is a good time for them. If you have enough coins, you know, be free to grab all the extra coins. Oh, sorry, another upgrade. I would say for 474, if anything, that you have extra range on your detector. But with this, all the upgrades we have, we're gonna do core back doors here to the arena or the waves of monsters. So that gives us another upgrade we are going to save money for. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk all the way to this other side here to activate the things down. This is where the damage of the 250 combo is really really helpful because it lets us one hit all but one enemy type. Here we go. You certainly want a bunch of upgrades for this because in the end if you don't have enough damage, they're just gonna overwhelm you and they're gonna destroy your two portals down there which I think that means they damage you if they hit them it's exactly entirely sure how that works, but something like that Hopefully with also our health regen up, update upgrades, oops, we will be able to heal up if our life goes a little bit too low. I think it's about 70 at this moment. There should be like maybe one or two more waves here. Boy. This might be the last one then. Let me see big big enemies, that's the last one. This is where we see big, big enemies. This is the last one. Chase alone. Gonna do that. That was all of them. All right. We also have enough stars to grab our volcano thing that we need, the volcano sealer. So that is really good. I'm gonna go for that real quick soon. So I want that as quickly as possible so I can start just you know, removing all the um, graves from each zone at the same time. Here is the last uh, battle. It also has the most expensive upgrade, as you can tell. Um, yeah, it's really expensive. I am not gonna bother with a lot of things here at the moment. I'm just gonna fly forward here. Try to land on top. Oh, on top of that. <laughs> we can try again later. Something I'm gonna do at the moment, or right now, is I'm gonna place you. I guess there. This is fine. That seems fine. Use this thing here to open up a shortcut between this area and um, Carrot Town, so I can jump from Carrot Town to hit this instead of having to backtrack later. In order to do that, I need to do this and just shoot that part there. That activates this thing, and I can teleport back to where I want to be. So now I'm gonna go and grab our final boon. And also 
the last drink. I don't remember the achievement of it, but this is a achievement with a drink. So what we need for the drink is water and the red seed. We're gonna make this into water down there. Click that. Click, 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 click. There we go. Red seed is in one of these barrels. We're gonna grab one. Then go into this room here that requires 23. So we take the seed all the way down. You can toss it if you want. It just might bounce around and be really, really hard to find when you come back. Drop it down. I just want to grab that. All the coins. Now let's go and grab the wet sponge to make this drink. Oh, let me down please. Oh. Like so. That is the drink. Increases the health you get from fruit. We have these beams that we want to destroy and go and grab this chest at the end here. That's what we're here for. Now we can leave. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the same way I came here. We can probably grab this thing later if you really want. Oh, hello, big guy. I don't mind big guys. These are really nice because they give a lot of points. Thank you very much. So, the six moons that we have collected, the six red ones, are going to this, I guess, rock with things on it. And you get this lovely sword that is attacking really fast and you only need to do is hold it down the button. Now we are going to... Grab some chests as we are close to them. I'm gonna go up here. You can also go up on this other side over there, or even this part below here. Doing the way I did because I find it easier. You don't need to enter this pipe at this point unless you uh, already. If you haven't picked up the chest, I'm uh, sorry, the grave detector, you wanna go into through that pipe. But we want all these extra chests and. Get over to this big big wooden sword. You can see a chest on the top of it. There's also a chest on both sides of the handle. Getting up to the top can be difficult. If you have the happiness, uh, yeah, happiness uh, buff, then upgrade. Then you have an easy time. But we need to pull ourselves up and throw that as high as we can. Sometimes we miss. So what you might need to do is just pull yourself once with the force beam and let gravity and the power of the force beam do the job for you. And then at when you reach like the top height of that pull, you can switch and shoot your translocator ball over the top. We are now going to go grab the volcano sealer, which is over here in the 166 star cast pipe. In order to do that, we need to activate this, and we do that with this yellow shot, like that. We can then unlock this. Remember, this is a yellow barrier and a uh, launch pad. That is what we're going to need to do certain things in here. Gonna do this quite f far across, like this, so it doesn't get destroyed by the wall or whatever. Uh, when we stand on this, we will also activate that launch pad, so they will direct the shot to this. So we're gonna shoot our red shot that way. Go stand on this wing here, wait for it, then we're gonna shoot this and this. And here comes the yellow one, so you can sh start shooting. You have some coins up there and a anvil. I'm not really sure what the other solution for this place is, but... Oh, I always struggle with this, so I'm just gonna walk up and apparently not be able to toss it in. There we go. Please, let me use it. It's, uh, there we go. That. I'm gonna shoot that in again. Apparently we are still really bad at that, so we can just do that. My god. And toss it over. There we go. We are done. Here we have our big, big volcano sealer upgrade. Now we are able to clean up the game. Oh. 
picked up. We're gonna stop at this volcano right there. Just place your cube really close to it and stomp on the cube and you will destroy it. It's a wooden thing there. And we're just gonna go through all of this as quickly as we can. Yeah, there's really not much of for me to explain at this point. But I'll still do my best when it does appear that I need to do something like that. I'm gonna go through this pipe over here. We need to get to that side, and I don't know a easy way to do it except for this pipe. Turn right and just do this block here. Hopefully we also have some fights going on here so we can uh, get some more coins. Like so. Sometimes enemies manage to spawn just before you manage to restore these things. That is nice because we get extra for it. Gonna destroy the one at the back here as well. That one. Now we're gonna go up on this building. So there's a chest hiding here. And stomp. And we're gonna do a full if stomp here as well. Like that. If you're not able to do some of these stomps, you might need to have some radius on your stomp. I'm a little bit unsure exactly how it works, but might be the case. I'll be done in this area. So now we are going to start to prepare for the two achievements called Jesus Christ Superstar and Groupies. And for that, we are going to need to grab um, the, the, the sign over there. First, real quick, we are gonna destroy these canyons here and also the free up on this side, just outside of Character Town. These three I always forget if I don't do them in this order. Oh, we didn't get a big guy here, that's kinda sad. It happens from time to time. Alright, we've done those three and now we can just get back all over here. So what we're doing now is we're grabbing this uh, has sign, rank, we're gonna bring it with us all over to Carrot Town, we're holding it and we enter the shortcut here. Now we're gonna explore and find a bunch of coins and chest. Oh, I'm gonna place this thing on this side because we're gonna use this portal here, a uh, fast travel thing later. We're gonna go this way because going all the way around it to do all the things and this is just the most stuff first needs you to get to this way also have a chest on this side so you will notice we're going to get a lot of coins at this point because these things are worth 15 each plus the enemies that might spawn from them is uh, at least three each as well i believe all right we can pull ourselves up like this and then shoot the transfer ball up the last bit and get the chest We're gonna go to the first little room inside where we first enter Carrot Town. And start dealing with a lot of things here. And this one there, small one, a medium one. Should we kill enemies? That should be all of those. We have a chest up there, so we're gonna do this the typical way. Beam there, pull yourself up, and fly forward. And make yourself a little bridge here. Go back up to this and just jump up, turn around, and we jump into this little secret area here. All we're gonna do right here is grab this coin and chest on the, on the end here. We're gonna turn it back just a little bit, and you will see this opening there. It might be easy if you place a cube under you, then toss this up so that we can grab these four big coins and then we jump it down again. There's a medium one, big one, and another medium over here. Like that. 
Now we're gonna do this puzzle. We're gonna skip going in here. You would have to grab these like this. Make a line with the force beam. Grab each one and pull them out of the building. Uh, I don't like doing it, and I have to activate more things as well, like these three launch pads so you could do things we just gonna do this one two and three and shoot that up that is just so much easier to do no struggle saves all the time and it is just the power of translocator balls and all this all these jumps so what we are doing here is not only grabbing chests we also need a key that's we are gonna find at the end of this place Translocator on the side here. Do that then. Up on this little part there, and the final little place there. We have one more chest in here, and then also the key. Pull it up here. And we have the key we need. Pull that, push it down, toss it down, whatever. And we need to go higher. Oops. There we go, and a little bit higher again across here to get to this chest. As you're noticing, a lot of these chests are giving us quite a bit of money. It's very useful at this point of the game, when the um, upgrades cost quite a bit. So, because we clicked this button earlier, this door is now open. Let's kill that guy. And this key will open up a door in Care Town at the very corner. key again we're gonna toss it in here into this key keyhole and grab this chest in here we should have more graves to kill or destroy there's one medium here one medium right in the middle we have a big upgrade that's 250 coins can we get up here yes take this coin jump over and grab these coins right there Destroyed the volcanoes and the final, all the final chests are uh, graves in here. Oh, you just spawned behind me. Lovely. I love big coins like that. We can do this to get up to this coin. We have a wooden one there. It might be easy to miss that one because it's kind of tiny. Yes, please give me more coins. We want to have 1337 before we come back to uh, Red Town. That should not really be any issue. I think we are down in this area. So now we're gonna use this shortcut here with this launcher. We're gonna jump up on this and hold our sign so it doesn't fly all over the place. It will start bouncing and be hard to locate if we don't hold it ourselves. Alright. We are again gonna place this next to the next shortcut we are going to use. But we have some stuff we need to grab here first. We're gonna do this area because there are obviously more stuff in here as well. Like graves and volcanoes and a few coins and a chest as well, I believe. Love if you actually spawned. If you didn't, I almost missed this one. Make sure to pay attention to your pings because you will otherwise have issues when trying to find the last things in the game. Luckily, I do have a pretty good idea of where things are at this point, because I've done this so many times. We are gonna go up to this coin. Just use your beam. And at the top here, you can connect with your buckle. And now we can run here and jump. Triple jump. And if not enough, you can just get all the rest. One little sneaky chest up in the corner. 
Now I'm gonna go on the top here. I believe it's possible. Oh, it's not? Oh, interesting. Very interesting. All right. <laughs> that was not possible and the surface looked extremely flat. So we're gonna deal with this volcano down here. The medium one and the next volcano as well. And the medium one. Oh, I just realized I almost forgot to do one achievement here. We can do Jesus Christ Superstar at this point. So that is what we're gonna do, go and do. Take this with us and go over to the statue of Mr. Miracle. That is near this coloring machine. It's gonna give me some groupies and then we grab a chest at the same time. So we can do this. Boom! And they appear. We need this again. We do that. But first, let's go up here. Gonna go to the top here and jump over to the side here. Just across it. There we go. We are not done on this side yet, so we're not gonna use this. Um, Red launch pad just yet. But I'm gonna make sure that I place this here so I know where it is and continue doing the other few things here. First, we have a chest on our left top, and then we also have one on the top right. So we're gonna take the left first. Oops, yep, we can't get up. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's shoot this further up, grab this chest that we're hiding here. Then we're gonna do this, get over, all the way over here, between these pillars we have this one chest as well, then we can go down here, now we can do this area at the bottom here because we have some more graves to deal with, and two volcanoes. And then we have three more down here, that the ones that had a bubble on them and bounced on early. <laughs> so far away from me. Alright, we're also gonna keep going this way. There is gonna be volcanoes in this area as well. You can probably just hold down your button and just go for the enemies at this point. And, you know, grab all coins if you want to grab them. We have a bunch of volcanoes over here. We're not here before. There we go. That's all of them. Now we are going to move. Yeah, we're gonna move back to um, fast travel thing. Where we placed our sign. Oh, never thought about it. Can I stand on this? Can. Never tried. Alright. We have more coins that we need at this point. That's very nice. So just that. Uh, we fly all the way over here. We have one little last bit we need to unlock, which is this launch pad, so we can get back home. To do that, we need to go up this sublet here, or whatever this is called. All the way to the top. Then we can activate that thing there. But we have a few things we want to do in here. We do anything else. One of them is to kill this big guy. Love seeing them. Let's do that. There is. Oh, we'll do that after we do uh, all the other stuff here. So I want to I wanna kill things first before I start having to worry about having a super ball in my weapon. Alright, start on this side over here. That one. I'm gonna go up here on the left side. I think it's possible. If not, just do that. Alright. One. You're gonna make me see there is a ton of graves in this area. 
Do this, that, open up the door. Alright, we're going into the building to grab this chest. Make sure we destroy all the graves. Oh, where did we down there? Come on, having done it earlier. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to know where everything is in here, but there is a lot of graves. It's gonna be another small day. We might have this one. But we're not quite done yet with graves. We're gonna continue finding the graves. Right, so I'm gonna teach you how to open that gate over there. For that, we will need a super ball. Oh, sorry, we're doing this chest up there first. That is more important because that is the side. There's another super ball momentum jump that we need to do. If you have a happiness buff, you just jump over there. Instead, place your cube, you stand kind of far over, forward. I hope it, you pick it up rather than hitting the cube. There we go. That's what we do. Get that. We do need this again. And we toss that in there. We take this flight and we stomp so we land on this part here. Hitting this flips this over. Let's just use this again. And now we can use double jump. To get over to this mechanism here and hold it to pull it all the way up like that now we can enter this place we can kill enemies if there is any enemies at this point you can literally do whatever you want i think but if you are here early basically just bounce on this i don't you probably don't even need to run pound or stomp don't forget the hero in the side there then we turn this off Turn it off once. There we go. And then we can destroy these graves. Now we have two chests inside this building. We are gonna do this the easy way. Just connect to the roof there and pull yourself up. And here we need to melt these beams. Again, you need 120 damage for that on your old fire. There we go. So we have those things. I have to continue to the side. Hopefully some more enemies, and we do have more enemies. Love seeing it. And we have two volcano bits in here that we are basically just gonna leave. So I'm gonna place that there real quick. I don't need to worry about that. And I'm gonna turn them back out. I don't think there's anything else in this area. Now we can grab our sign and take it back home. Oh, respawn. That is lovely. You're getting quite lucky with these big enemy spawns. I do like that. Because normally I have just about 1400 coins at this point. But I don't know exactly what happened. To have 1800 instead. So now we're gonna put this in our on our own home. So we have groupies, and that means you have achieved the achievement groupies at this point. Now you can obviously buy this, and you can buy something else. Maybe I would buy chest detector first, so I think it's just better. And now we're gonna start looking for graves in the early areas. We can destroy everything at this point. Oh, take the one in the middle, and then turn left. Remember to turn left again in, in here. We have one little sneaky wooden one. They are just about everywhere at this point. There's so many. Let's see where they are. Guys, right, remember. Make sure you have your noise on so you can hear them.
I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, because I have happiness, we jump really, really high. We have really good movements at this point. And when you have good movement, you just jump around like crazy to find all these secret areas at the top of things. Up here we have a hero, space commander, I think. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna take these coins over here real quick. So we still have quite a few upgrades to buy. One is the counter of chests that is still in Red Town. We might have to backtrack to get. Uh, the other one is the ones uh, near the boss fight in the middle of the map. We're gonna jump over to this area over there. Not directly to the coins, but in this little hole here. All the way down. Have a hidden chest in here. This is possibly the hardest chest to find in the game, if you ask me. Especially if you don't have a, de a detector. I just wanna grab these coins while they're here. Because why not? It's quite a few of them. Right. And now we're going on a massacre of destroying these things again. One directly to our left. There's spawn there if you haven't grabbed it. Oh, that one. That one. Let's see if we have missed any of these around here. I'm not. If you have happiness boost, you can easily get up to this chest on the top here. Many times I missed this this thing, the volcano in the middle of the screen. We are going to the red crystal now to deal with the things over there. There should only be graves left. I don't remember exactly which ones I've killed or destroyed. Down those two. Take this order here. This one is possibly in the middle. It is, we take that. Store that one, and the last one should be up here. That would be all of those, awesome. Here, enemies. I'll take enemies. What to me? You want money. Alright, let's just go back the same way we came. So now we're gonna go back to the middle area where we grab the last red moon and clear that bit out. But then after that we can go back to the volcano place. And we should be getting close to getting rid of every all the things. So we have some volcano bits here, but we do that really really soon. Oh, jump in. We have a chest up here we can grab real quick. We grab the three chests that are left. Well, left in this area. Just gonna get them because we have all the excess jump stuff here. If you don't have um, the happiness, you can't jump and toss this thing up through that little part. But I can't really show it because I have such high jump. If you struggle with that, you can also beam yourself up with that one. So there's a wooden way up for you there. Oh, I have some mediums left. That's very good I noticed that. So I would not have gone back to check that. I have some more mediums. One. I have grabbed that medium apparently. I don't hear anything, but that's good. Some extra coins.
Let's see. I don't know. Ooh, that might cost more, actually. Let's go there later. Let's collect more coins. And we can hopefully get all the upgrades after we have done all the things here. It would be nice to have the chest counter, to be completely honest, but... It will be fine. I want to say the grave counter is wrong, though. I should have 14 before going in here, so we are missing one. That is never good. Hopefully we will find on the way as we buy the last upgrades. Yeah, we only have four left to get in uh, this route that I have. So we did miss one grave. Guessing it's near the super land field. But that is usually where I miss them. Because there's just so many. <laughs> a lot of enemies here now. One group of them and a second group of them. Let's kill all of them. See, money. These are the last four that we should be getting. See if we can find the last one real quick after all of this. I'm gonna jump all over and on top of everything here. A little bit. Uh, maybe this way works. Jumps. Oh my god, that did not work. Oh my, I even missed shooting my translocator. That hurts. This way? That way. There we go. All these jumps up here. This is possibly the hardest chest to get to. It's also always out of range of you. Detector, if you're not jumping up to it, I'm gonna jump down to Hans Yolo. So now we have one easily missed achievement. That should mean we have shelf filled. You can look at that on the, the menu screen in a little bit. You can also take the chance to kill these guys again. Like that. So what we want to do is get up to that pipe. Even higher up. But we can use that pipe to help us get up. We're gonna jump up to it with our lovely happiness boost. Then we can uh, magnetize to it and go on top. Reset our jumps. And at the end here, you will find a red guy. And I think all you do is talk to this guy, and that should be 
invisible wall. We should have two chests left. Should be one over here at the end of the rainbow, which we can't see yet. We have a tendency to miss one, 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 just one thing uh, when I'm doing these videos. But I had to redo it. It's not the whole world, but it's just kind of interesting that I miss one and it's always a different thing. Here we have the chest. Two chests, that should be the last two. And a bunch of extra money. Now, we are going to go back to... Uh, we're going to go to... Red Town and also the buy the upgrades in the middle. But I think we go to Red Town first to get that chest counter. I think the fastest way is to hit this shortcut here. Should be finishing this up here. Or the joy if there was a wave here. Apparently not. Alright, I'm just gonna take this quick, quick look over on this side. To make sure if there's one here that I'm missing. Yeah, no beeps. That is not good. Alright. Back to the middle then and buy these other things. Oh, so we bought the chest upgrade. And there is no chest counter, so that means we got all of them. I have no clue why I'm jumping right now. Ah, here we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run over there rather than use this thing just to make sure that we are actually not flying over a nearby grave. Nothing so far, okay. We do have enough coins for these upgrades though, which is quite nice. Three of these. You can look at this, we have everything else, we're just missing the one grave and 2%. Uh, getting all graves is giving you 2% completion, so that is the only thing that we are missing at this point. That scared me, that was loud. Don't really need to kill anything, but he's there, so we do it. Just going through all these areas to make sure I'm not missing. Oh, yeah. Make sure we're not missing one. It could literally be any grave. I'm pretty sure it's a grave I haven't missed before. Oh, I might know which one it is. I do know it's in Cat Town. Oh, we can use the shortcut. There it is. There we go. That feels fine. That is everything done. I haven't missed that one before. There's always one new little 
grave or chest I miss, but we, I feel like that is good enough. 3 hours 24 minutes, I am completely fine with that. As long as it was under 3 hours 30 minutes, I feel good about the guide and the speed about it. Now that I have all of it, even if I had to look for the last little gray for like 2 minutes, that is not the whole world. I hope this video has been helpful. If you're hearing this, I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful time at the game. And hopefully I can see you in another video. This would be all the things done in Superland in three and a half hours. That includes the hard to find or hard to know uh, secret achievements. Nine, which is the perfect score five seven experience that you do in Red Town with the five white board boards with numbers on them. So you click it nine times. You have just once, which is to eat a blue crystal inside a building in Red Crystal Tower Place. Just eat one of them or more. We have Velda Serve, which is to hit the NPC where we get the red gun upgrade for the secondary attack and the combo attack. Make sure to slap him in the face. We have Help the Star, which is help the guy get rid of his four groupies that are standing outside. And then we have Super Bowl Noob, which is to score a goal just after we helped that star. And I think just directly after that, we did Momentum, which is to learn how to use the ball momentum with the Super Bowls, to catch in midair and do a triple jump to cross really big gaps of. Big, very big gaps. The next thing would have been a redstone pickaxe, which is to craft a, a redstone pickaxe. We'd make a pickaxe red by coloring it red and then giving it to the guy that wants a diamond pickaxe. And then we have payback, which is also in Carrot Town, where we make sure that the bad guys in there, well, that might not be bad, but they were a little bit rude to play that trick on the, on the people in town. So we made them lose the harvest with the fireflies. And then after that, we had the real, real teleported man, which is also in Red Town. We helped the magician to show that you can teleport. So you have your translocator cube in one box, you stand in the other one, so you teleport. After that, we have group, uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, which was to give Mr. Miracle some groupies. And uh, where you have the red barrels in the shop nearby, there's a color machine and his statue. Place the sign there with the diamond rank 3 to give him some groupies. And then the next one was to get groupies yourself, which is to get the same sign back to your home in Red Town. And then we have Invisible Wall, which was the guy at the top near the final boss area to find him and talk to him about the blue pipe. And we have Shelf Filled, which is to find all 12 robbed dead heroes. And that has been done. I hope. Again, that this has been really helpful. I hope that you have a good time. But I'm out. Bye-bye.